Okay. Yo, 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 Bully and the Beats podcast. Yo. I'm L'Oreal. It's your boy Wax. What up? He's annoying. Why? Anyway, we've been arguing before the show, so Why? I just want to say fuck you, Wax. Because you're a dickhead. Like a and you always this be this is like the norm. This is the norm. I didn't nah, make things always, up. Listen, you y'all understand. Shit up. Y'all got to understand. Every single, every two seconds, another baby is born. I just ask y'all, do y'all know who's pregnant? That's it. I wasn't even going to bring it up because you act like it was a secret. I mean, I want to be a secret, but I wish it was a bunch of people out there who's not, wasn't, who's not pregnant, but they are. There's a lot of people out here who are pregnant right now. So You probably got a little Nas X pregnant. Anyway, let's <laughs> get into a voicemail. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, people be needing some help, and we're going to get that shit to you. So mm-hmm. you got to do is hit us up if you want to leave a voicemail. Give your story detail to this yes. number. At 347-679-611, they holler at us, you. It only took yeah. us like 200 episodes to get that shit right. Only 201. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up? My name is Blizz. What up, Bully and the Beast? Peace. So this is one time I took Charlemagne's advice. Mm-hmm. Bad he told the story about how his wife cheated on him before they were, you know, when they were younger and they broke up. Mm-hmm. And he said he wanted to know all the information. Yikes. So someone that listens to Charlemagne, I was like, you know what? When my girl cheated, I wanted to know every single detail. Did he say that? Boy, did that fuck me up. Fuck you up. He's bigger. Mm-hmm. You know, just all this shit. And after hearing that shit, I couldn't take her back. I didn't trust that bitch. <laughs> so like... Should just ignorance bliss? Is that one of those things where it's better to not know? Because you know, I tried for about six months after it happened to try to be with her. It just yeah, it didn't work. You know, she brought yeah, it to her family like house. He brought her. You know, she brought him everywhere. Did all the same shit we did. That feels crazy, right? He made her come like I did. Oh my gosh, she told too much. Told than you. me like that shit fucked my soul up. So. I don't know. My advice would be is ignorance bliss. Is it one of those things where, you know, it's better to just not know? You don't want to know, but I God, know. he's bigger than yours. And Shout you out know. T. Diddy. Fuck Shout him. out Wax. Shout out L'Oreal. Yikes. Yo, that bitch is dumb as shit. Like, she, why would she tell him fuck? that? She crashed. She fucking total lost the car. What's wrong with you? She's the idiot. Like you, you should never bring up size when it comes to anything. When always, niggas. man, I'm always make the guy feel like he got the biggest meat in the He's world. He's always the biggest. Only way you get the ring, dumbass. She ain't want the ring. That's all it is. Like you got girls got to understand that the only way to get a fucking ring is to make this guy feel like he got the biggest meat in the world you ever seen. And now he only wants you to see his shit. He don't want you to see nobody. I can't fucking. imagine her saying this. You know what probably happened? He probably asked like, "Is it bigger?" And she's probably like, why do you want to know? <laughs> and then he just like assumed that it was bigger because she wouldn't have his ass on the motherfucking leash, nigga. Yeah, because I'm sorry. <laughs> Nobody's going to fucking believe that a bitch just came straight out and was like, let me tell you something. He was bigger. He made me come. How you yeah, made me yeah, come. Yeah, and yeah, I took him down, to Felice. Baby. How I take you to Felice. Like, what, what is, I don't get it. I took him to Applebee's and we ordered the same thing me and you get. Yeah, like, was- what, who's giving all that? Yo, it's a lot. It's, it's during sex you can get a lot out of a girl and during a heated argument when she or she courts you on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Then you're going to get the real. So it's either most likely with them two, most likely the argument that happened. You know what I'm saying? And she, he probably no, got he caught said up in he some asked, shit. Didn't he say he asked? Now he wants to know some shit. Like, yo, fuck that. You found out this shit about me? Yo, what the fuck you ever did? Keep it real. And that's a time to hit. She's in a vulnerable stage. She want to tell you some shit to hurt your feelings because she feeling she feel all fucked up right now. You know what I'm saying? So she want to tell you I some don't think it's to hurt shit. your feelings because one time yeah, I was honest she about feeling. some shit that I did and it wasn't to hurt his feelings. It was really to like make mine feel better. Yeah, and what I mean I by that, that is no. No, it's different. It's because I had a guilty conscience. Like, I felt like I was hiding something. Mm -hmm. And the sicker part was that me and him weren't together at the time. But, like, he kept uh, pressuring me, and I didn't want to lie. So I was just like, yeah, I fucked with this nigga, whatever, whatever. And he asked me mad questions, too. But, like, I told him the truth about majority of the stuff, and then the rest of it, I'm just like, this is sick that he even wants to know this. You know, like, I like that's how I took it. That's kind of wild. Right? Yeah. It's like, why do you want to know all that? Because he want to know what's his competition. Are you ever going to go back? How far can I argue with her 
How many bitches can I call her? How many times I can get caught leaving out the house? Nobody's calling me a bitch. No, I understand that, but you know. So nah, maybe, you know you don't. Maybe, maybe you're outside the house. Let's make it clear. I right, then one for you. I don't care you. how much. They one for you what? and he out. The one for you and the he out. You know what I'm saying? He got to know how many times he got to do that because you always got this guy that you feel like is always better than him. So he, you always got somebody to go get. You see what I'm I saying? I mean, it's always somebody better than anybody. It's just all about your connection with the person. Yeah, the chemistry. The you know what I'm saying? Somebody I might be better shit. than them in this. You know what I'm saying? But they're not Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, there's always going to be a nigga out there with more money, with a bigger dick, with a better car, with a whatever that can make you laugh a little harder. But it's like your whatever your feelings is for that person. So it doesn't really matter. All that other shit doesn't matter. Because, like, even I think about that, and I think, like, the more grown up I get, the more I think about shit like that. Like, no matter what situation a nigga's in, like, you really cannot stop a nigga or a bitch or whatever from doing whatever the fuck they want to do. So you can yell, you can scream, you can tell them you don't want to go outside. You could do all that. Like, and when they go to the grocery store, they could be linking up to fuck somebody and coming back and telling you they ain't had no milk. Huh? Yoga class. I always yoga, class. Like yoga class. Yoga <laughs> class. Way, way, way back in the day, it's like, yeah, I'm going to yoga class. Like, this nigga still think you're going to yoga class? This is fucking my ex was a piece of shit. He used, to, he used to be like, I'm going to pick my kids up from school. Nigga ain't see his kids in a month. <laughs> going to see bitches. Oh, he, no, he, no, so he would go drop the kids off. That nigga ain't even having enough time. To go like, smash. he would literally... No, he'll go fuck with the bitch instead of doing anything with the kids. That's what I'm saying. He'll go drop the kids off. Go drop the kids off. Is go nuts. Yeah, that's what he would say, but he was really going to link up with a bitch. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Drop the kids Dirt off. Bag shit. Go, go nut. Like, like, yeah, go. go. Yeah. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, drop the drop his kids off. off in her mouth. Yep. Got right. it. Got it. Got it. I was a got little slow on that one. Got you. Got you. I'm tired. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I mean, you can't trust anyone that cheats, period. It doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, I feel like they should have to earn your trust back. And that's the only way you should take anybody back that's cheating on you. What do you think? Um, yeah, I, I don't give a fuck the nigga dick bigger than mine. I don't give a fuck he have more money than me. I don't give a fuck yeah, he bigger, matter. smaller, whatever. He's another man, period. You know what I'm saying? You give somebody else that pussy, I'm out of there. It's just what it is. Cause I can't <laughs> unsee this. I don't care. That pussy I, already been gotten before. Yeah, come on. That's, that's so what just, doesn't matter. I, mean, I get it, but it's just like somebody... If, if I own this car right now, I'm not going to let somebody go in there and do a bunch of donuts and then give me back my car. <laughs> what if you the person out. that did something? What if you the person that did something to make her uh, do donuts on the deck? Um, then I shouldn't be there. Like, that's like a dude getting beat up in front of his girl. I don't think if I get beat up in front of a guy, I don't think I should be there. You know, what no, I'm God forbid, I, for your sake, Carla cheated on you. You would never take her back, even I if it was just one. Because I would never unsee it. I can't un- think I hear that moan. If she ever moaned, I'm like, you moan for him like that? I-, I can't even have sex with her again. If I'm really in love with her, but if I start treating her like, ah, you want to be like that? I'm going to start treating you like that. That's who you are. You don't me. think people make mistakes? Mistakes don't mean that. You don't mistakenly fall in the dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's what people do. That's, that's Niggas always people. say they make a mistake. Yeah, we're supposed to say that. Y'all can't use our lines because y'all are smarter than us. You cannot be doing if I'm If I'm, my class, my classroom used to be in a, uh, in a uh, class cafeteria. You want to ace a student we know. class. All right, so why are our grades around the same? <laughs> it don't make sense, right? So y'all so much Where smarter than us. This nigga know, come up with this place. shit. <laughs> know where you at. Above you. And thank you. And y'all, that's who y'all are, and y'all should be way smarter than us and better than us. Y'all shouldn't be doing the dumbass shit that we doing. Y'all so that means that just don't... No, that means don't tell you. Mistake. Yeah, that's what y'all gonna do. Y'all gonna go ahead and go suck some dick and then be like, oh, you're so nice. What the quiet. fuck is this motherfucker so nice for? Why she so nice? So to just me? keep it quiet. That's yeah. what you're saying. Cheat, but keep it quiet. Well, you know what? We bring flowers and y'all be nice to us. We got a good meal. Because you just <laughs> sit there and fuck, it, fuck this, suck some shit. Now you gotta really so, bring some groceries home now. So he's right. Ignorance is bliss. Like you rather not know anything and yeah. just like let them feel bad about it. Yes, yes. A lot of times, a lot of places, a lot of things, man. You find out about these places, things, and people. You want to be around them. Certain white people, you'll be around. You see how racist they are. We want to be there. Certain restaurants, you'll go think how if you go look in the kitchen. We want to eat there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like if you see how these fucking girls is, how nasty their bathrooms and shit like that, how they take care of their stuff. You be like. 
I ain't fucking that bitch. But all these niggas look at these girls in the club like, I eat her pussy right now. You I eat her ass, nigga. <laughs> I eat fucking ass, Wait, nigga. <laughs> so I have a question. Okay, so when it comes to stories, Dude. so like say Carla's out or whatever, and yeah. it's a story and it involves guys, because like say she's with her homegirls and they invite guys. If she comes and tells you this story, like say y'all in, uh, are in two different states at the time, mm -hmm. and she's like, yeah, and then this dude came, because uh, you came to meet Natalie and this, this, that, and the third. Would you be okay with that, or would you rather not know that those mm -hmm. niggas pulled up for the friends? Uh, I I want to know because I hate to afford to get a, to me or pictures or something like that come to me. So she should cover her ass as, as well as me. If I'm out, exact same thing. I should cover my ass. Like, yo, so and so got some girls. Like, if you don't feel comfortable, I'll be out of here because I know what time it is. It might look kind of crazy that we out here wilding. Um, but I try to respect my situation as much as I can. But me so personally, should that be a problem? I give, I give, like I give her the choice. I give her, I give her the choice to see how she think that look for our relationship and how would it look watered down for our relationship at the end of the day. It's like certain ads won't go to certain shows or certain sponsors won't go to certain places because they're not to that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So something happening to where you're not of it no more. You feel like you've grown out of that and I ain't at the stage that you at right now. You got to remove yourself. You know what I'm saying? That ain't what I want my relationship towards. I'm not going to even be in that room. I don't, I don't sell drugs in a certain room no more. So I don't even hang out with them dudes no more. I don't tote guns the way I used to. So I ain't around them type of dudes or I only put myself in that different, that different type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So, so does it's that all mean up to that her. you don't trust? You don't trust her around certain it's, people? It's not even that. I'm the sponsor. I'm like, I ain't trying to even be in that, in that environment. I ain't even putting myself in there because that's what I don't want my company to be going. I don't want I think this is a good topic. Only... Only because, like, as a woman, I feel like if I deal with a guy in the industry and he, whatever, same same way here, he deals with me, he has to know that I have to deal with other men in the industry. And you got to trust to know that, like, I fuck with you and it's going to be that. Like, and it got to be on the same way, too, because a nigga can have mad homegirls or whatever the case or bitches that they work with. And ultimately, I feel like, or hang out with, it don't even gotta be a working situation. And I feel like at a certain point, you really do gotta trust the motherfucker enough to know that if they do something, then that just is what it is. You can't stop a person, whether I they hang out that. with them in front of this and that, or I mean, whoever's again, looking. It's up, it's up to me to know that, oh, this guy got caught smoking weed, we dropped him from Pepsi or whatever the case may be. Whatever it could be, it could be- But got caught like is the key thing. You're right, but if an allegation of it, like you said, she would have to check in. If not, somebody might have a camera and that just might be it. I might see a story or somebody might send me a story of wax, look at this, because they watching her. Or watching somebody else's story and see some bullshit. Why would you want me to see it from somebody else? What we respect our relationship, we ain't, we ain't going that direction. If we were still going that direction, we both out here still playing, we can play all day, baby. But you, know you said saying? that y'all not, you not in a relationship until you marry, or you not, whatever, you're single till you're married. Yeah, but you you don't, let's, let's see if you're going to go in that direction. If this is the direction that you want this organization, this relationship to go in, act towards that way. If you want to stay with here, people, it all depends on again, like you said, a bunch of guys and stuff come, you know what that is. That's the devil's playground. We ain't going to be stupid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. Come I don't know. I could be don't around know, mad niggas couple... all day, and that don't mean I'm fucking with none of them. I, I hear you. Again, it don't matter how I do it look. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? Is drinking happening? But then isn't that like caring what people say? Shouldn't it be about nah, what's it, going it, on? It, but it is what it is. It's just the way it look. I wouldn't put well, myself... Well, actually, sounding a little situation. insecure. You could call it whatever you want to call it. I, call, I don't call it insecure. I call it out of care. Like I said, I've never been on the side to where I was home and a girl cheated on me. I, I thought girl, you got over this. I thought um, we, we cured um, this. Now you're still insecure. I'm on the outside. No, I'm still on the outside looking in. I watch booby traps. I watch things. You got to understand when it comes down to respect also. It's like you talking to this guy. You don't know if this guy got envious towards you or your man or what the fuck is going on. What do you, you mean talking to him though? If y'all all at a table together. You don't know who like is who. It's, it's really out there. It's really wolves out there. And when you outside a certain time of night, is wolves out there. It's only it's, it's time to play. The only ball is out there. And I'm saying you're not gonna be on the court. You ain't gonna be out the court with your, with your new Jordans on. You see, see what did I'm he, saying? Do you hear this? Am I crazy or what, like what are you hearing from the outside? Talk to me. <laughs> from the outer cure. <laughs> I'm out of cure, baby. It's the cure here, baby. Take that yeah. to you. Like you're saying that you don't want Carla to be around any. 
<laughs> guys at all. It's, it's not that. It's just like she be around people. She got to talk to the men all the time. She got her own company and stuff like that. So it's not that I exclude it. It's just when it comes down to looking a certain way. Yeah, man, it wouldn't look good if me and my boys or my cousins did. I got a bunch of girls in our section. Like, what do that look like for me? So because not, you're in a relationship, nobody can have girls around? I try not to. I try not to be in that situation because the way it look. I just don't even want that. I'm, I'm not me and my relationship not building towards that. If we was wasn't building towards that, me and her still chilling out here and wilding and doing our thing. Yo, we could have that shit all day long. This is my shorty. La la la. Right now, that's not what we're trying to build. You know what I'm saying? I might be a pastor of the church one day. Who knows? I'm not building myself to be. And the church needs get, men and women to. I join. understand that, but we. I'm still not putting myself at a, a certain situation to where. Certain things you need to. But you can't keep control yourself, and you don't trust. It's her. not about that. It's that's, not, that's what it sounds like. It's, it's not about that. It's, it's regardless. Because I used to feel like you, but this was years ago, and I feel like that's when I didn't trust somebody. It's like not even, it's not. And even now I don't even look. I look at it like this: like whatever. I'm trusting everybody. Go ahead, mm. and here's your rope. Mm. Like if you're gonna hang yourself, if you gonna hang yourself, like, like and if you not, I hear that then we good. But at the end of the day, still, you don't know who is who. You don't know who's envious towards you. You don't know who's out to get you. You don't know who's right there. It's a lot going on out here. But you Everybody also don't know be. who cares about you, who loves you, who and, and you kind, you kind of you. do. You kind of do. Like you got a circle. So you know what I'm saying. You try to stay in your circle. You think you know that sometimes the motherfuckers be married for thirty years and get a divorce over some kid they yes. didn't know existed years ago but what Hopefully i'm saying that. is, i pray i pray to I don't god know. don't put me should in that be situation some trust there but yeah, anyway man. should this guy leave or what yeah leave um or? like i said if it was to me i cannot unsee it so there's no way especially knowing all that extra stuff you know what i'm saying you try to keep it out your mind like mm, she never sucked nobody else i really want to know if he cheated before like he never of course niggas don't never mention what they yeah, did yeah yeah you're right but at the end of the day like i said before last show is like Men, if you cheat, we could crash the car. We could come back home. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not that no, bad. Can't. Hey, not whatever. Bad. Some women might think that. Might not think that. You know what I'm saying? But when a woman do it, it's like you do so much. You gave yourself to somebody. No, sometimes you just wanted to fuck because that's the skill. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is y'all doing it for? Whoa, whoa, we not over here moaning and going crazy and telling somebody, oh, I love it and feel good and all this stupid ass dumb shit like y'all. Yeah. Y'all be like, this is my pussy. Man, don't be want fucking that nobody shit. else. I might want that fucking pussy, man. That shit don't fuck. Bad. Yeah, right. But you took it. Ah, and you had it and you I don't you want that dumb Probably ass ain't ass even used no condom. Nasty but anyway, shit. I think if you really love her, whatever. Y'all could talk yeah. through it if it was a mistake, if it's some repeated shit. Bro, you know what? I, you, you could get her. You get her back only if did she tell you she sucked his dick. Did y'all hear that? But see, that's the thing. I remember one time I asked, and this is, y'all niggas is so crazy. It'll be <laughs> like, we're, you're broken up, and the nigga will still count that as you cheated on them. And you're like, nigga, I'm not even with you. Like, you have a whole nother situation. I done moved on. But I cheated on you because I fucked with somebody else when we weren't together no more. Yes, but, but any, what? Well, go ahead. Real fast. No. Do you think that it's okay for you to talk to anybody that he know, just because y'all not together no more, or what? Like speak to? Yeah. Why no, not? no. I'm just saying, like to deal with. Fuck. No, I yeah. wouldn't do that. Thank you. I think that's, that's different. That's respect. No, I was asking because some girls be like, oh, I still, I'm available. Like we were talking about something not too long ago that somebody, oh, the fizz dude or whatever. It was like, they was like, he's not together, so she's available. Certain people just off limits. And this guy had babies with her and everything. You know what I'm saying? You think he'll like that at all? That's not cool. So. I do feel like this, though. If it's a situation where you don't want that person anymore at all, I don't think that it's right to stand in the way of people's happiness. Everybody you you don't have to be you friends with that person anymore because ultimately they're choosing to believe that they love that person and they're risking your friendship over it. Now, well, to me, you know yeah, but to me as a friend, I'd be like, that's fine. Go ahead and find your love. I hope it works because then you're risking the friendship. Fine. But I'm not going to beef with them and be upset. It's like nah, just being in the right. way of somebody else's happiness is trash. Like, I don't never think that 
doing anything like that makes sense. And yes, it may be fucked up and you may feel betrayed, but ultimately <laughs> it's not. But it's not about you all the time. Now, if it was a situation where they're like, let's get the person back. But if it's like we genuinely fell in love, we've been around each other all these years. What did you expect? Like you knew we were cool. You you don't fuck with me. I'm still cool with him. He helps me out. Still. Yikes. I love him. You and then say they get married and you gonna stand in the way of somebody's happiness just because you bitter and upset. It's not why I gotta be bitter and upset. And I feel like I don't want that done dirty. What the f- how you nine times out of ten probably left this the is bitch. My, this is my baby mom though. Like yeah, people- but you don't want her anymore. That's like you off getting limits. upset that somebody messes with your baby mom right now. Not Carla. Off limits. That's my that. son's mom. My, my son don't like that. Like nah. straight up. My That's son- trash. Ooh. You don't want her. I, I understand that, that you don't want to see her happy. No, 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 no. Like, no. I mean, we ain't got to be somebody. I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Why does it matter? I hear you. I don't have anything to do with that, but that'd be kind of corny. You know what I'm saying? No, like, it's kind of corny that you're hating on people's happiness. I'm not. My you happy. Is, you in your own situation. Let my fuckers be in love. If I know you, I probably like you. I don't want, I might not like you because my son's not going to like you because he don't like you want you as mom. I want to like everybody. No, if it's some spiteful shit, again, like if it's your enemy and my fuckers is like, oh, I want to get, no, but if a nigga has a relationship, y'all have feelings for this bitch. I got feelings for this nigga. I so love So many this women person. out here. You know what you know? What you know is is is, <laughs> is thirty six women to one man. Thirty. This nigga's just making oh, shit man. up. Like you don't know this. Where's that at? Yo, Tell it's me. all in the statistics. Where? Go ahead, show it. Whatever is that? The six six. Go ahead. Both go ahead of y'all is up. idiots. You and fucking twerk over there saying the shit wrong. Yes. How many women is it to the men? Woman to men ratio, America. Yes, he said the right way. Ratio. 97 males for every 100 females. Huh? So shut the fuck up, you idiot. What'd that say? I don't see it. You gave me nothing. 97 males to every 100 females. So basically, you're wrong. <laughs> what? It's three? It's three women to one man? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I thought it was 39. <laughs> yeah. Times 10, that motherfucker. Yeah. It's not even three women to one man. That's not the, That's not how you break that down. It's always mad women. For every love. 100 bitches, it's 97 niggas. So what that means? More dudes? Just stop. Right? It's more women. <laughs> it's 100 women. It's 97. It's exactly what it says. I don't understand why you're so confused. To every, If there's 100 bitches... There's a, so three bitches ain't gonna have a nigga if there's a hundred in the room. I right, said, so who gonna take care he of them? He still bitches? don't get it. No, who gonna take care of them? <laughs> this nigga said three. First of all, he said one to thirty-seven. Let's just... I thought it was something like that. <laughs> I fucking hate Google this don't show. Know everything. And I hate this nigga more. Like yeah. this nigga, I hate when people just like. And now what? You know what? <laughs> From now on, I'm pulling a by card like that. Like, cause niggas stay talking <laughs> numbers, and you be like. You let them talk sometimes, but this time I just couldn't take it because that sounded so fucking bogus. <laughs> Nigga think he in Atlanta. Now, that's probably Atlanta statistics a couple years ago. <laughs> but ever since they start robbing niggas, it's your turn. All yeah. right, let's get into this email before I quit this fucking show, yeah, man. Well, we this nigga it. said 37 to 1. It's kind of like that, though. Um, he just but, made that up. Like, why I, would you I, even I, just make that real, up? If we all Where did club. you get that from? And we all in the club. How many girls into guys? Wax, where the fuck did you get those numbers? Me and the from? guys be talking. We just be going places and talking. Let's Saying go. nothing. That's what you a whole lot of nothing. So you tell me when all the guys when we all get together, we be lying? <laughs> yes. Even to your bitch, right? <laughs> no, y'all I, get, I can't. Y'all lie so much, y'all don't know when to cut it off. Anyway, hi. Oh. What's up? This is the email. Mm-hmm. You want to leave an email. I'm scared to ask Wax because he's about to make some shit up. Nope. What's the email, Wax? Do you know that? Me the beast at gmail.com. How loud is you? Thank God. Yes. All right. Hi, I love your show. and actually yes. love voicemails and emails before you helped with. I dated my boss for a year and he tried to kill me last year nice. when I was denied, when I denied his marriage proposal. So it's safe to say for a while, I stayed to myself. I started taking a friend serious because I was afraid to meet new people. He's always been handsome and nice, but at one point, He was kind of an alcoholic and I didn't want to take on a project. So we were just good friends. Mm -hmm. He works a lot and there was always something about his eyes 
that made me want to cater to him and be submissive. He asked me to be his girl three times, and the last time I accepted. So we've been together for about three months. Then she just said she didn't want to take on a project. Yeah. That's, that's all girls. They always feel like they want to fix everything in everybody. Taking so. a stray fucking dog. The issue is he isn't doing enough or maybe I'm tripping. He works a lot. And for the most part, the only time we hang out is doing things he likes to do like bars and shit. And I'm not a bar kind of bitch. Alcoholic. We have trips planned to go to LA and a cruise. But if he wanted to chill, but if I want to chill with him on a regular Saturday, he'll say, let's do something I like. I'll make yeah. the plans to go to a restaurant or something I could dress up for, yeah, but then he'll fall asleep. <laughs> because he's been at work all day. Well, shit, bitch, I understand that because I'm tired right now. Yeah. Anyway, he makes good money. So I'm trying to be understanding, but he doesn't do shit for me either. And that's another problem I have. I'm not the type to ask, but I've always never, also never been with a guy that doesn't offer. I don't like that either. Don't make me ask. That's anyway. For ask for what? Ask for anything. You should, you should just do. Not saying I want money or bills paid, but one night we went to a bar and he playfully choked me when we were kissing and he broke my earring. Oh, I told him man. he needed to replace them. They were real and I don't wear fake jewelry okay. and he hasn't. And I bought it up three times. This nigga buys Gucci, $7,000 Cuban links and Whoa. Louis Vuittons, but can't replace my $500 wow. earrings. He has really bad trust issues. His name is Wax and... <laughs> <laughs> I might say, I ain't know about them shit, so they lie. <laughs> he has really bad okay. trust issues, but so do I. I've known him for three years. I rub his feet, look on YouTube to learn how to massage because he works a lot. And sometimes he has pain. I bring him food sometimes when I cook. And I'm starting to feel some type of way because I don't like stingy niggas. Niggas that don't compromise when I am or niggas that don't have time for me. A part of me says to wait it out a little because he's been very sweet and the funniest person I know, but he's not romantic and not my usual type. He offered to change jobs when I brought this to his attention, so he has more time for me, but only says it once and never brought it back up again. Then he cancels on something I wanna do last minute. I mean, then he cancels on something I wanna do last minute. He's still stingy and still only wanting to spend time with me doing things he likes to do. Duh. Help y'all, am I doing too much? Should I wait it out? Um, in these situations like this, the guys who go shopping a lot, you have to hide one pair of every one of their shoes. Right, just <laughs> grab one pair. Just one, is it one pair means two, right? What's, what's one shoe? One shoe. What kind right, of so, trick question is this? All right, so you you grab one shoe out of the pair, you know what I'm saying? Out of every pair, and okay. then you put that somewhere, and then you see how he react. I'm sure he'll probably. What does that have to do with anything? He need you to um, help him try to find it, and he then he gonna start acting right. This ain't a good. This ain't a good um, advice. I don't even know what that means, and um, I think. <laughs> Personally, I don't know. I dealt with a guy like this that like he does everything for himself, but super cheap with like you. And yeah, then it's man. like what he would do is like I got him out of it because I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? Like you have to do this. Right, you, <laughs> I don't you like I don't upgrade me too, nigga. What yeah, the fuck I, you I think with him it was more so like I he wanted me to ask and I hated to ask. But at one point I really needed something, so I told him. And then he helped I me. Need ten pounds, motherfucker. Well, that's like ten dollars. I'm talking about like five thousand. So I'm like, really, I really need some help, right? Tampons. <laughs> to five thousand dollar tampons. Yes. So um, but no, like it was really an ask thing. And he wanted me to ask, and it was simple as that. But I will say this, once he started giving it to me, he kept giving it to me. Nice. And then I fucked up one time and said something crazy to him. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, it was like, he was he was acting a little funny and I was drinking, so I said uh, something crazy. Like what? And I don't even, to be honest, when I be drinking, I say a lot of crazy shit. If I'm real fucked up, like I'll say something real crazy. I didn't, niggas done cut me off. <laughs> like, sure? I don't, 
More than once. I mean, maybe like Gloria, four times. You hurt my feelings how many times? Yeah, but I don't understand how like sorry doesn't work. That don't work for you. Because like, we know you don't fucking mean the shit. No, like I've literally had no clue what I said to a nigga the next day. Like, yeah. I just forget. And then anyway, um, the worst you made me thing, forget what worst I was thing saying. I haven't heard a girl ever ask somebody is how do somebody meat taste? And the guy was stunned. Wait, she asked the nigga how someone's meat taste? Oh, shut up. <laughs> you talk about T. Diddy. You stupid as fuck. Lord. I just thought about it. Um, nah, but you know what? When I fucked up, we still was fucking with each other. But like the nigga yeah. started acting funny with giving me money. Please. That shit corny. <laughs> like, don't, don't hang money over people's head. That's why, like, I'm so glad I don't ever have to ask nobody. Well, Carla money holding no money over my head right now. So come on, baby. Yeah, I'd be like, how you do it? He just hold it over your head like this and just shake it. I don't think you shake should like worry. Go, get your money. Stop worrying about cooking him dinner and rubbing his feet on YouTube. Find ways to make you more money so you don't give a fuck if that nigga give you a dime or not. And to be honest, like. Yeah. If that's how he feels and he just always makes sure he good and not you, that's showing his real colors right there. Because I'm pretty sure you're not going to... about the airing. Huh? She mad about Yeah, he should have replaced it. And I'm like that too. I'm funny. Don't tell me you're going to do some shit. <laughs> that's sure. not funny though. That's not funny, matter of fact. Don't tell me you're going to do some shit and then don't do it, you fucking weird ass nigga. Who does that? L'Oreal, do you, you do talk you do to that? your man like that though, for real? I would. <laughs> I know you do. Stop it. You and T Dizzle has a, a fucking problem. No, but that's weird. You broke it, weirdo. Why are you putting why your hands is, around my why neck? Why these words is even coming out of your mouth? You're lucky I ain't call the police. Why is your Jesus hands around my Christ. neck? She said everything that scared a motherfucker away. <laughs> Do you want this Get motherfucker? Get my fucking what? earring. Jesus Christ. Why man. are you choking this girl? Like, you don't see nothing wrong with that part of the story. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Listen, she about to call the cops. <laughs> Get my $500, nigga. <laughs> You ain't gonna have no chain, no nothing That's what in jail. I said. Now you understand what I said at the beginning of the thing. Take one shoe, and this nigga, all this nigga pairs, Gucci's and all that type of shit, and I guarantee, guarantee this nigga gonna act right. Cause he gonna no, need niggas, to help I him. know they don't. Like you literally have to treat teach a nigga on I me mean, like you do. Like a nigga gonna try to get away with whatever he could get away with. Yeah. I'm, I'm and then you that. have a nigga that you try to like. I've tried this before and I don't feel like this works either. T Diddy, you tell me what you think. So like as a woman, you're like, you know what? I'm going to treat him how I want him to treat me. And then it's like, niggas don't get a hint. No. Now they think they got a sugar mama. No, you're no, like, no. If you treat Gift him, giving is my language. Nigga, give me something. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, if you sit there, give him something like, like socks, wear feet and drawers, thing that you see he spend his money on. Because men only spend their money on like food and little dumb shit that you know is like little expensive. Y'all can take care of that. Now we got more money to be like, you know, we see some shit. I go get you that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So this nigga got money. He works all the time. She never said that he did. She said he makes a lot of money. He just don't spend none on her. That's that's my cousin Champ. He's over there going crazy. What's the he first thing you bought for Carla? Uh, the first thing I bought for Carla is the condom that we used the first night. I'm talking about something for her. Oh, like something for her. Okay. A, a gift. <clears throat> or like Carla. something nice. Something nice. Uh, Carla liked it. Uh, this um, liked expensive it. ass fucking one of these fucking shit. Some shit like this. So some shit for her business. Yes, some shit for her business. And um, this yeah. nigga ain't even get her nothing for her business. No, that's what I did. I got her. Not you. Stuff. I'm talking about the bitch that uh, we talking to. Sorry, Miss. Miss Lady. <laughs> yeah, like I'm talking about her. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, that's what I that's what I did right along. Um, I like the things that she was doing, like her her grind and stuff. And I was like, what can I do to push her to be better? You know, I start yo. Huh? See, that's how you know a nigga cares about you, but he's only worried about his drip, his shit, whatever's going on, and he's not thinking about her. But to me, how was she going about it? I did that. I would not have invested in Carla if I didn't see her going so hard for this. If I see her one she's step going back, hard for him. I'm saying, hold, sorry, hold on one second. Uh -huh. I'll finish the conversation. Tell it, step in for me. Thank you. See, this one, she got to take a shit. Um, 
if I didn't see her going as hard as that, I wouldn't invest in her business. So she had to show me that. Is this girl right here showing her man anything that he's seeing her? Oh, she's outstanding in this. Instead of getting these Gucci shoes, let me, yo, let's get a, a storefront set for a salon. Or you, she does hair like crazy. Or she had the business mind. She brought me like three business plans that she said she going to show somebody else. But she know I got the bread. Why the fuck is she going to somebody else? Huh, baby, I got you. Yo, what you need? 10 grand to start this up? Huh, sign these papers. I got you, huh? There you go. Put yourself big, make yourself bigger. But is this girl showing him anything? If she's not, then he's not going to invest into that. You know what I'm saying? So that's a little different. Don't be sitting around thinking, I'm just going to give you money to make you look fucking good on the gram. Just to say, nine, nine, nine on the bitches. 24 hours just now went. How can you help me help well, us? That's make corny. More money if, for us? No, no, no. But if she is, if he's buying himself all this stuff for himself, mm-hmm. knowing women like jewelry and everything else like that, you can't buy her. I don't like buying people like stuff like that because that's just a flashlight. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you never bought, you never bought watch. her, besides the engagement ring, you never bought her any jewelry. No, I don't like that. I don't like it's not about way. what you. It's not. About I'd rather. You. I'd rather. I'd rather buy Carla Acre land. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. That's what I feel like in my heart. That we go ahead and do. You know what I'm saying? She go. She got the deed. If she want to go buy some jewelry, bring that deed that you have. Bring it to the bank. Cash it in and do what the fuck you got to do at the end of the day. But I know for me, my love language is showing you growth. Anywhere I can grow you and your whole environment. So your whole, when your environment so grows, your guy, mind grows. But I'm not talking about like for this guy. If he's buying all this stuff, you don't think. That's him. He's going around the circle of life. He ain't even paying attention. 24 hours went by and the only thing he did is bore clothes and spent bread instead of putting it towards something that make his, 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 his whole environment, his, his, his uh, estate grow. That's what it's really about. At the end of the day, somewhere he could just go ahead and pass down a deed down to his kids. You know what I'm saying? And now they already at a certain stature because that money going to go in two seconds. Look at all that money on that car. All of that shit gone. How fast was that money gone right there, all that bread on that car? Oh, um. You know what I'm saying? That's, that shit was gone in days. A couple of bad decisions. Somebody stole it. Look at Luther and stole all the fucking money. Just like that. Just as fast as they got it, as fast as you get it. You know what like I'm saying? He's really wanting to do they the things it. that she likes to do too, though. Like if y'all in the if y'all in a relationship. You said what? He should be doing what she likes to do too. It's not always about him. It's not that. Now she bringing things in for us to grow. We on a certain mode and we on a race. Everybody think we have time. Time for what? God gave us 24 hours out of the day. What do we have to do to grow that day? That should be fun. That should, knowing that you didn't grow and made yourself bigger should be fun. All that y'all want to go out here and do all that shit. If you ain't do all that shit already, what the fuck you think this life is all about? My job is to make sure my kids with my grandkids and their kids is be able to good. That's my duties on this earth. Y'all duties out here to play around and pop bottles and look at motherfuckers' dick print. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go ahead and do that dumb shit. I ain't got time for that. So all y'all dudes out here who sitting there following behind these girls, you should want to go to the club and shit like that. I'm going to skip work tomorrow because she want me to go out. Y'all niggas do not get suckered in you. That, that's when you become a sucker, bro. Do not be them guys. You know what I'm saying? Go out there, do your job. If she's not with you at the top, she just ain't there. Go get the fuck out of there, young man. Do not sit there and sit your ass around and get your ass suckered in. And then now you over here missing work and now she got you all fucked yeah. up. Ah. Come on. I feel like you're missing the point of this. No, movie. listen. Always take care of your lady. Your lady should feel like it's yeah. Christmas every day. Do not exactly. ever feel like it's, it's like a way that you got to treat her like she's a maid or anything. Every day you should try to make everything's comfortable for her. So every day feel like Christmas. It ain't a certain day I got new house shoes and stuff like that. Or, or is my bed sheets feel all nice and soft? Like she should always get that every single day. It's the toilet she sit on, she's supposed to be comfortable. The shower she be in. Shit, uh, food, food, fuck fun. You know what I'm saying? Long as you eat, sleep, and shit comfortable, all the rest of the shit gonna fall in place anyway. So she got a nice kitchen. She got a nice toilet to sit on. And she can take a nice shit and shower. She's all right. I'm talking about L'Oreal. Just talking about you. Solids. Shut the fuck up. What you yes. saying? Anyway, y'all finished with her? I mean, he just said his last statement, so. We like and Which her. was what? Food fuck fun. You should always say, make sure that you say it. Yes, you gotta sit there. As long as you eat, eat sleep, and shit comfortable, and the guy is making you do that, you, you'll sit there and be okay. So. Okay. I just think he's cheap. He's not cheap. He, like I said, L'Oreal. I wonder has she bought him anything? I mean, I know she says food and stuff. But like, yeah. I don't know. Do you feel like 
like how do, so what made you even say like real quick because i know we're wrapping this part up but like what even made you be like i know you said carla was going hard but what made mm-hmm. you be like she's going hard so let me purchase something to help her out yes and that and that's what i was saying earlier do you what, what type of attitude or what does she have standing out to make him say oh i'm investing this into her carla is the reason why i invest in that she had one step back of going as hard as she was or I see her going and putting her her time into some other things and things like that, and she wasn't going directly straight to this, I probably wouldn't invest in this to this with her. You know what I'm saying? But I see her, this is her thing. This is what she do. So it was like, okay, I could help her build this because this is the direction she want to go in. It's easy. This girl probably sitting back, want to sit there and chill on Instagram and show her girls off, and I'm this and that. And, uh, so the first piece y'all. of jewelry you bought her was the ring? That's it. I, like I told her, I'd rather get her uh, uh, acre of land you know what I'm saying? That's what I go after. That's what okay, I do. Okay, Ari the Don. No, but that that I, I've okay, been doing stuff like that. Don. You know what I'm saying? I've been <laughs> talking that type of shit. I've been talking, saying that type of shit, man. Buy your girl the acre of lamb. Find a way that y'all can grow. Buy her Peloton. Don't talk shit about her weight. Buy oh, her, that buy her, fucked up. Yeah, if a nigga buy tried to just come gear. in with a Peloton, I'll be like, <laughs> what you trying to say? No, I want to better you though. I want and so I'm, then I'm buy help two you work Pelotons, out. Nigga, I'm, so I'm we... gonna help you work out. Let's let's do this thing together. You know I'm saying once I start doing things together, you start seeing what really hurts. You know, anybody could be on the side like, oh, five more minutes. You're like, man, the fuck you said I said two more. I don't care what I said, keep going. If they on that bike with you, that five more minutes is gonna mean five more so minutes. But you don't think they should be fly with you? Because if he's Dior'd out and Cuban out and she's just like Zara out. Not nothing wrong with Zara. I love Zara. Um, that that's but. up to him. That's up to him. How he want to sit there and have his lady. He breaking and earrings and shit. Ass. Like, well, listen, if he is his ass retarded, her she need to fucking stay in sleepers all the time. Sleepers clothes, and then hide all her fucking clothes too. Then I say hide his fucking shoes. Hide your clothes and tell him you ain't got shit. So when he take you shopping, and then he gonna leave you for a fly, fly bitch. Well, <laughs> 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 well, in that case. Put a little in the baggie, put a little in the purse. <laughs> yeah, they ain't about robbing them. It's just like, yeah, put a little thing in the baggie, a little put it in a little purse, man. Robin. I know, I know, I know you get a little allowance and stuff like that. You might say, oh, I want to go get this, I want to go get that. Allowance, but, that's what she's saying. He's not sharing the money. He ain't got he, then why you give him pussy? <laughs> what the fuck you give him pussy for? That's your fault. Wait, don't, you wasn't giving up nothing before you got pussy. No, nah, I mean, in my situation, I, I this is the first second she saw me, I, I got me some pussy. So it wasn't nothing like that. Um, <laughs> and that's most Not of the time. Not the first second, because you told that you were friends. You lying. No, nah, no, nah, but we was cool at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't that I had to even, we was I wasn't going after. We wasn't going after. So our situation a little different. You know what I'm saying? But if a guy, at the end of the day, you are paying for that pussy. That's what you're paying for. Because if a girl tell you, Okay, so how did real quick again out your house right now? How do you get how does she get something out of the nigga? Stop giving him pussy. That's it. That's it. You could y'all control us with y'all pussy for all these years. I can't stand y'all girls who try to rewrite shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a certain way. When you out here fucking on your man, sitting sit in that fucking uh, warm bath with fucking vinegar, you know what I'm saying? Close that pussy back up. No man, paper, no pussy. Fucking. No paper, no pussy. I like it. That's dope. No paper, no pussy. Okay, look, let's look, look, all, look at all these things I be adding. I'll put that a shirt. No paper, no pussy. I like just it. Made that up. That's nice. Cause if you broke, you shouldn't be getting pussy anyway. You shouldn't exactly. be worrying about pussy. You should be worried about trying to get your money together. He not broke, but he acting broke. So you might as well. Uh, the rules still she apply. Have, is she showing something that he can into the invest? And a lot of guys don't like just giving out bread. He might. That he nigga might. don't like you like that. I feel like. I feel like if a nigga like you, he gonna do shit. He gonna dress you up. If I really like my car, you know what I'm saying. I'm a rim. You gonna up. put some rims on yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it shiny. You gonna give it a bath. You know what I'm saying. I shine you. I put some new shoes on you. But put, what if she's acting really on. independent though? I can't. Not stand acting, them. but like when she's like. I don't know, because I feel like sometimes that will scare a guy away from doing stuff, too. If you're like, well, I got it. I'm paying for this. I got uh-huh. it. Oh, this bitch don't need uh-huh. no help. Miss Independent. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? You, you Listen, it's a way to do it, and there's a way not to do it. If that's who you are, it's still a way to do it. Y'all, to, I feel like the ones, they try to show that's what you are. I hate you women who have to show who they are. Y'all already won at the end of the day. You ain't even got to be riffing and raffing. The ones that 
the ones that sit there and get the most out of us is our mamas. Hey, honey, come here, beautiful. See, she and, always asking for some uh, shit. That's mama what, always asks for some shit, though. Mama like, subtly, anything. but you she always asks for Who going to say no to that mama? You know the furnace been here since... Says to <laughs> mama cold. Mama been freezing for a couple of you know, days. No, the vacuum ain't been moving. How it's I been would clear before. my fucking account. You hear me? <laughs> you know the car been making this little funny noise, <laughs> but it's okay, baby. It's gonna get God I, I, gonna I, I fix it. You, God, 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 God. <laughs> he gonna send me an angel. You know. <laughs> mama, you saying there like, all right, ma, you tripping? That's twenty. Racks for a yeah, fucking yeah, house, yeah, yeah. side of a house of a house. Like you know, the, well, you know, God gonna find a way. You like, listen, my mother do that too. <laughs> listen, but that's. I'll be but, like, yo, no. Come on, but but who else could get that? Mama She'd be like, you know, a Corvette would be nice, but you know, all in God's time. <laughs> it was all God's time. God's a Corvette. I'm like, it sure would be nice. Nigga. Yes, for me too. <laughs> God, God, his time got my time. Tides and offers. Did I pay my? I did pay my tides and offers. Woof. What church? So I could go see if I could get some of that. Uh, yeah, my mom. Corvette church. money. No, I'm joking. No. <laughs> yes, I paid right, tides and offers this week. So we're gonna get into another uh, email, but this is only if you're a Patreon subscriber. Yes. So if you are a Patreon subscriber, let's get into it. And if you're not, mm -hmm. then you could go subscribe right now so you can catch you the better. full entire episode plus bonus emails plus mm -hmm. bonus voicemails mm -hmm. plus waxes on there doing dumb you shit that. plus you get gummies uh All some like kind of percentage shit. even mm -hmm. though i never tried them so who knows if they even exist what the fuck um you could black excellence you get first dibs on emails everything mm -hmm. all that good stuff i'm pretty sure i said that so yeah. go on over to patreon subscribe right that. now yeah. and if you're a loyal patreon subscriber we big shout out to you for mm -hmm. being a part of the family and let's get into we it really appreciate y'all whatever let's get into an ad yes now let's talk about our favorite because we're greedy hello fresh you now with hello fresh. fresh you get pre-measured ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep and you can skip trips <laughs> to the grocery store and count on hello fresh to make My home shit. cooking easy fun and affordable that's why it's America's number one meal kit, right, Wax? Oh, yes, I love it. I hate going to this COVID stores. Oops. Even this dummy knows how to whip up something thanks to HelloFresh. He loves yeah. making the burgers. That's his uh -huh. favorite. Yes, and they got the pictures all the time, so it's easy for me. You know what I'm saying? Especially for people that can't read like you. Uh, so anyway, okay, so you know fall can be hectic, right, Wax? Uh -huh. Yes. But Okay, well, HelloFresh recipes can save you time. You would otherwise spend on meal prepping, grocery shopping, and chopping. Actually, that's what Carla would be doing. Pretty sure not you, hold on, hold on, but... Hold on. I mean, they got, they got all the ingredients. They got all the stuff right there. Nice and easy for me to measure out and stuff. I kind of cook a little bit, too. I miss, I miss Doubtfire my shit sometimes. So Okay, Mr. Doubtfire. So yes. you can focus on getting back into a new routine now and spend some quality time with your family mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, on the farm with your, with your peoples or on the gun range. Mm -hmm. That's what you be doing now. Early. Now, HelloFresh offers 50 menus and market items to choose from every week, including <laughs> vegetarian. Ew. I'm sorry. Not COVID. Now, HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from each and every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and okay. gourmet options, which I love, providing plenty of variety. There's recipes like meatloaf. Um, mm. There's recipes like meatloaf. Uh, a la mom. Oh, there's recipes like meatloaf. A la mom. Perfect for you. A mom. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and one pot brock mac and cheese. Oh shit. <laughs> this shit is all messed up. Okay, okay, okay. And one pot broccoli mac and cheese okay. makes wheat night. Mm -mm. I'm so annoyed. Oh, and God. one pot broccoli mac and cheese makes wheat night wheat. What is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, okay. Last time, last time, last time. <clears throat> Class Wax, they got one pot broccoli mac and cheese, and it makes weeknight meals go off without yeah. a hitch. Very easy. You can put on some Netflix. Takes about 20 minutes to cook, 10 minutes to prep sometimes. Okay. Super simple. And then you can sit down. You greedy, so you probably going to eat somebody else's portion. Hey. 
You know how that goes because it's, it's portion good. size. Yes, it's really good. So this is what y'all want to go grab. Go grab exactly. That. Hello, fresh. It isn't just for meals. Their marketplace features a variety of snacks. I love me some snacks like okay. this pumpkin cinnamon roll. It's new just for the season to get you nice and cozy and uh, a little something in your belly sweet. Okay. So I like I love it. I think it's delicious. Did you get a chance to try it yet? I mean, my, I didn't. I want that one in my next one for real. Do, do I have to make it and bake it like a pie or just like it comes already made? You're going to make it. <laughs> See, I like baking now. You know what I'm saying? Like me, where I'm at in my life right now, I'm starting to zen. And what name? Who's Wax Zen? Please don't start. Yoga. It's not yoga. I'm a zenner. Anyway, so I just love that. It's simple, easy, it's pre-packaged. So all you got to do is just chop up the little things, follow the ingredients, and your fresh, delicious meal is available right away. So all you got to do is go to HelloFresh.com slash 14Bully and use code 14Bully for up to 14 free meals. That's a lot of meals, including free shipping. So uh, that's HelloFresh.com slash 14Bully and code 14Bully for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. Going over right now, and let's have a cook-off. I want to see y'all pictures. Take pictures of your food y'all making. Send it on in, and we're going to get... Can I no. Okay. Well, yes, we could do cooking yes. with wax yes. and it could be a challenge and you cook one thing that the uh, callers or the listeners cook and we'll see who makes it better. They could vote. But how, how are we going to get everybody to taste it? Like they should have. Oh, a- no, no, no. But it's going to be by looks because oh, everybody's not going to be able to taste it. All right, that's easy. Shawnee. Second of all, I would never touch anything you cooked. Anyway, so we're going to get into <laughs> the round table talk starring L'Oreal and nope. we're going to bring some callers on. So yeah, who's on got, drugs? Who's on drugs? Let's make it a party here. Uh-huh. Now, um, let's talk about. A Yo, of- choker. Oh, shit. Fuck you just we just about was you. talking about her. Issa Trey is here. You. My niggas, what's up? So Fuck your you pronouns did. isn't they and them. <laughs> No, she her, and I have a I do-rag see. on, so... Oh, might shit. Be, okay. Might be both right now. Hold on, hold Wait, on, so yeah. should we add our pronouns? Let's add our pronouns. What am you I? should, actually, so people know what to call you. Yes, you should. Well, okay. I, my name is Carla. <laughs> Choker, can yo. You, can you be these pronouns? I just wonder, because I'm still confused. Can I just mix it up like this? Wait, I didn't see the update. Hi, Taylor. Um, you're she, her. <laughs> Can I be she and them? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, who, no. Who, who am I? I'm, I'm signing I'm, off now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm him, and him. You're her. You're no, Carla Wilmettis. Yeah, you're bitch and nigga. <laughs> See, I get treated on the show. <laughs> okay, y'all. At least it's not treated like this man here. So there's a veterinarian, right? Nice looking uh-huh. guy too, about 40 years old. He's black of all uh-huh. things. This motherfucker has been sentenced to 22 years. Yeah. Because fucking he put, because he put, because he's fucking the dog. I y'all. figured that. I must say he's smashing the dog. So y'all want to know how he got caught? How he got caught. He recorded and shared the videos of himself sexually abusing dogs and created an animal crush video. Homeland Security ambushed his home. They discovered that he had several text conversations about bestiality. Now, in March, this is uh, the hospital, the animal hospital, made the following statement. We at Caring Hands, yeah, I'm sure it was, animal hospital, are appalled by yeah. the nature of the charges against Princess Madden. Princess. That sounds like a fucking animal rapist. Our legal team and every single member wow, of Kenya's family is that. will be doing everything in our power. They never to, say yes. What? The animal never said yes. Never said yes. What's He's a rapist. Happening? Please, God, don't let it be Florida again. What's no, it like? is Florida. Uh, oh my God! It's Florida. Talking? Where so, else? So, um, that's that's him. I know him. You fucked him, right him there? too. No, I know that dude. How? He's you bought your coke. dogs from him? No, he's a buy coke. Shut up. 
It's like, no, nah, bullshit. You know what's crazy, though? Because he's really not even a bad-looking guy. So he was smashing them dogs right there? What the fuck? He was fuck? fucking dogs. Look how he's smiling so hard. He just finished He's like, I'm going to fuck all these shit. These shits look terrified. <laughs> right, right. We have no idea nah, what they want. Nah, nah, he definitely do a coke. You got to be doing coke to do shit like that because you just feel like your meat need to go somewhere, bro. He the R. Kelly of this shit at the animal hospital. That's, That's I. Uh, a, look yeah, at the dog. is frowning. This guy right? dog trafficking. Damn, yeah, look, look. He messed it up. <laughs> he touching their titties right here. Yeah, he just molesting the fucking dogs. You dog molester. Look at him. Look at him. Guy. Look at the dog. Help me. What was the dog <laughs> doing, man? Damn. Oh, oh man. man. That's so sad. Was the dog in heat? But, y'all, yeah, he also had thousands of images for child pornography. So this uh, nigga was just a sick individual as a yeah, whole. Moses, are you there? No, oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's wild. I want to know if Moses ever watched the bestiality video. We all watched Wait, the, hello? The, the horse get stuck. Moses, you ever hello? watch a horse get its dick sucked by a woman? Wait, say that one more time. You ever watch a bestiality yeah. video? Uh... No, yes. I don't think so. Yes, you have. You took too long to answer. <laughs> I watched that one video that went around with the horse. Are you a veterinarian, yeah, a nigga? horse fucking a lady, right? Yeah. Everyone saw Everybody that. Everybody saw that one. Did you see the horse yeah. fucking the lady? No, what was that? Yeah, that's nah, what you He know. Yeah, I've seen it before. I think everybody has yeah, everybody definitely has seen, seen that it. one, man. And I feel like T.I. always tells this story about the girl that fucked the dog. Yeah. Yeah, the BMF made her do it or something like that. That's wild, yo. Cause yeah. You, they, 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 when they nut, they just continue to keep on nutting the, every time they pump. And then their dick swell all the way up and then they get stuck inside of you. What How do you know I, this? I made dogs. So oh, anybody who, anybody who want to ma mate with oh. Bliss, I got some um, sperm for y'all. Anyway, uh, Moses, do you have any advice that you need before we get into the next story? Um, <laughs> no, yes. not really advice. Oh, what is it? What you need? What you need help with, nigga? Spill what it. This, man. What happened? So, um, I joined this job. Mm -hmm. It's been about six months, and I don't know if it's the right fit. Um, I kind of want to do other stuff. Uh, is six months too soon, or what's the job? Just like, uh, I'm a paralegal, I work at a law firm. But that's what I do. If you don't like it, you got to go. <laughs> yeah. You do that, Issa Trey? Yeah, I'm a paralegal. So you I mean, either I mean, like it or you don't? I really love it. I help people get out of, on parole. And okay. I do all amazing things, honestly. But if you don't feel that way about it, you have to dip. Because I've worked with so many paralegals that are just there for the money. And okay. it eats their life away. And I'm like, no. What, do, what is it? Uh, what if it's the firm? It could be the you're working with, but sometimes it's the the the, the work itself is not as interesting as people thought it was going to be. So they're like, "Why am I here?" And the next thing you know, it's been five years, and they can, hate. Everybody. Can you team up with somebody? Can y'all be partners? I hate like everybody that? too, but like that's natural. <laughs> Lowe's like, I hate my coworkers too, nigga. So I. <laughs> is, is, is that a thing? Can y'all team? Look up? at how I, I fucking hate wax. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, wax. I guess we'll let you talk. Yeah, can y'all team up and do something like that? I mean, to paralegals. Can Moses, you what kind of work do you? Your legal work do you do? Uh, right now I do family law, but and litigation. Before that, I did debt collection and foreclosure. First of all, family law is depressing as fuck. So um, that shit sounds like it. I'm sad. Yeah. Me yeah. Too. Not that what I do is is, is exciting or what happy. you do. What you do? I help. Um, so what I do is we um appeal. We're well, sorry. We we sue basically the state um for um keeping people. Keeping to deny people parole for years. For okay, no Kim Kardashian. Okay, why don't you think so? <laughs> uh, I want to call you choker every fucking every fucking show. Y'all don't need it. I mean, that's it is a great. I love what I do. Like I've worked at I've worked at other places where I'm like, why the fuck am I doing this? But this by far is the best shit. I love doing it. No. Uh, we just argued with the Senate like two weeks ago. Like me yeah. and my yeah, like we really? do free Mr. Clark. Hold on, Moses. I think you might got to switch your field and what yeah. you're doing. Yeah, I think so. It's what you, if you want to be like a business owner, right? Let's say you got to find like uh, trademark and patent law or like entrepreneurial law, like Jeez. stuff like that. You can't just take any paralegal job and then expect to be 
interested. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I want to do IP too. I heard I heard IP was better too. Yeah, are you into that kind of stuff, like intellectual property stuff like that? Yeah, because I I was actually a biology degree for four years in college before I graduated with a history degree. Yeah, so I, I really I this motherfucker yeah. is smart. smart you smart as hell. Yeah. No, so uh, you probably yeah. like the tech stuff or maybe okay. So like- what's in yeah. the vaccine? Since you a biologist, like is this vaccine oh, safe? Dumb people, that's dumb. All right. What's in the vaccine? Okay. Is it safe? It, it's safe. It's just a different method they use to make it. That's it. The mRNA. So people think it trans- yeah, because people think it changes your DNA, but it's mRNA. You know. It has to go through transcription, translation before it gets to, you know, DNA synthesis and stuff. But so it no, doesn't cause gonna, black clot. It could. I mean, I heard that was only for pregnant women. Oh yeah. So but again, them. that's like point. Like, but that's like <laughs> point oh, 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 one, You know, like. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think listen, that you I shouldn't be doing question. that side of things. And if you're miserable, six months is a long time to. You know, I think not, not a long time, a good enough time is what I mean to see if you like a thing or not. And if it's not getting better, don't get me wrong. Every job has its ups and downs. But if you're like miserable, like that's not something that you want to invest your time in. And sometimes yeah. it just be the people. Sometimes it's the the field. Sometimes, you know, time it's different valuable. things uh, that you have to try out. But I wouldn't plant my feet into anything that I'm not comfortable with. I'm assuming this is your first real job. Um. Right. This like is, in your this career? Is my third. Uh, yeah, I'd say so because I worked at two other law firms before this, but I was only there for about a year each. I was just getting experience. Oh, oh so you so, trying yeah. to be a lawyer? So you wanted to be a lawyer? I was about to say that. Yeah. Did you want to be a lawyer? Yeah. I wanted to, but um, I found out there's there's other ways to make more money. In That's, so you're in this for the money. You don't give a fuck yeah, about. Yeah, he want to be Kurt people. Franklin. Yeah. He said, "Yeah, <laughs> fuck <laughs> helping people." Moses, I'll say two things since I actually literally am a paralegal who decided not to go to law school. There's a lot of ways you can make a lot more money. That's one thing if that was your focus. And also the esteem that goes along with people like, oh my God, you're a lawyer. That shit fades yeah. really fast. That was part of the reason why you wanted to be a lawyer and pursue law. That's <laughs> lame. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of things that like, we know, like when you, graduate, when you graduate college, people are literally just like get a job, right? But like, if you really yeah. don't want that shit, no amount of money degrees and all that wow look at you is gonna do anything for you so yeah. like you just need to take time and figure out what you want to do you can stay employed while doing that but if it's just about money mm-hmm. or i want to live in a penthouse you can do mad shit and, and, and end up there you know yeah. so so wait was you you so you were miserable at job one and two no they no jobs one and two they were um they were debt collection foreclosure. Yeah, and they weren't temp, but they were the easier parts of the law, you know? So they didn't pay that well, and I was getting got experience. It. Yeah. It, also, the it, commute it. was long, too. But mm-hmm. in family law, it, it, it is kind of depressing just seeing what everybody goes through. But also, our clients are, like, rich as – they're rich as fuck. They got a lot of money. You just see that so money all, all the time. Right? Like, they're shiesty as hell. Yeah, and some of them are celebrities, too. Like, they're – they're big level people, you know? So it's like, you just look at those zeros and you're just like, damn, like, I'm just here typing away, billing, billing, billing. And it's like, I don't know. It's just, I feel you like I do, do more. the work of an attorney. Yeah, I want to do more. I want to do more. But you don't yeah. think that that comes with like growing with the company? Right. Because like, you can't come does. in as like an entry level thinking you about to be partner tomorrow and shit. And that sounds like your vibe. Like, and I get it because sometimes I like in the beginning of my my career, I looked at stuff like that. And I'm like, but how come I'm not getting ads? How come I'm not this? How come I'm not that? And then I only was there for like six months. And I'm comparing myself to people that's there for 10, 15, 12, 20 yeah. years. And it's like I had to realize like my my co-host, which I'm, I'm really cool, Angie Ange, she told me a lot of times like, yo, sometimes we got to be patient. We got to be patient. Like things is coming. It's a lot of good things coming for you. And the way that I looked at it was like, nah, it's not enough. It's not enough. Like yeah. I got to go hard. I got to work more. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it is about just doing what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, Staying in that focus. place, being there when motherfuckers need you, stepping mm-hmm. up when motherfuckers need you, delivering on time and doing whatever you need to do. Yeah. And then you get promoted and then things get better. Trust that first check, not first check, but that first contract and ain't shit on the second one. And the second one ain't mm-hmm. shit on the right. fifth. And then you can, right. you can actually say, look what I've been able to do for you guys. 
it's been a year, it's been six months, whatever it is. Like, I mean, hopefully you're working at a place where you can, but I mean, yeah, it's, it's all about sometimes staying there and like putting in the work. But if you are really money hungry and devoted, sometimes that works against you because you yeah. want it really fast. This is what mm -hmm. Lori was like, you want it so fast because you see all around you like, look at this person traveling, look at this yeah. person spending this money and you're losing yeah. track of like, what work could you be doing right now to like get to that? And then when you get to it for real, you be so like tired, you don't even want to do all that shit that them people was doing. Yeah, <laughs> you be like, you, you got it. it. You got it too. Like you got it to be able to do all of that. You be like, I'm tired. Fuck yeah, that. I want to make more money. Or I want to yes. like, all right, child. So let's move on. Let me, to I want to ask him one question because he's a biologist. Okay, well, T Diddy's moving oh, us along. But one, one Yo, question. So black, one question. Bro. Hold on. Look for real, real quick. Uh, what the or the earth, right? How many um planets is out there? So in our solar system? Yeah. <laughs> I wanna know. Cause these, I, I used to think the world was flat until I went to Grenada, but you know. Yes, so, move on. I'm so, telling you right now. Okay, so uh, did anybody see the fight? The Deontay yes. Wilder and uh, Nick, um, <laughs> uh, Tyson Fury? I ain't watched it during the time, but I watched it on Jack. I, I saw something else. What you saw? I, I saw, was it Wilder? who's saying the N-word? And people were like, no one's going to beat his ass. So is he cool Fury. with saying that? When he said that. Fury, that's not cool. So he's saying nobody could beat me so I could say it. Yeah. No, no, no. That's what that's what the memes were saying. Cause they're like, you know, oh. he, he's like the 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 best heavyweight in history now, right? Yeah, but he can so fight like, but he can't fight a bullet. So he can say <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. And it'd probably be a little motherfucker to get your ass. You better watch him out. He's dead. saying it, that was part of the joke. I'm trying to figure that out still. <laughs> um, oh. I think if Wilder is more in shape. Because yeah, because the other because, nigga looked like quarantine pounds. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> looked, he was more in shape. He he was throwing the same punches at the end of the fight, like at the beginning of the fight, at, at the end of the fight. He looked like a giant, this guy. Like, just like two. I don't know. Like, he looked crazy. He like, he's he a eats big motherfucker. And he, and he know how to move with it. He know how to move with it. Well, oh, like, damn. Wait. That's it's like he fighting like a chick. Oh, this like, is like. <laughs> Nah, he 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 got. He I got ain't never seen back. somebody leave with two hands. The <laughs> nigga came with two hands. Okay, I, is ready, that even bro, allowed? Can you punch with go. two hands? Get a way to go. Wax, can you huh? punch with two hands, or is that illegal? Um, I wouldn't. The punch niggas with two are like hands. this, like a cartoon. Right, punch like point hands. deducted. Like. You saw that shit, right? I'm not tripping. Again, look at Wild. Look at Wild. Anyway, I was gonna though. watch this entire fight because I paid eighty dollars to watch it on pay per view. Yeah, how was it? So this is the first fight I ever paid for. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But he like laying on the nigga. Yeah, the I whole time it, he I had him in a headlock. But you, got, but you gotta look at these type of things like that. Dang, dang, dang. See, he keep headlocking the nigga. So a part of the game so is not his who, dreads out. It's not, it's not about just the hard fight. hits. It's, it's also about points. You know what I'm saying? And he's scoring points every time he do that. Is that pigtails he got? Like, uh -oh. Damn. Okay, anyway, so let's get to the topic real quick, which we haven't talked about at all. So he okay. got his ass beat, and then this Fuck. shit happened. He got knocked down Fuck. a few times, maybe like about three, four times. Three. I know the last time was uh -huh. the worst, child. Don't, 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 See, don't but this was cool because he got back up, and then he was able to knock him back down. That was all good. That's it was great. the last knockout where his feet went to the side, and it was like, no, what, I have to see that. Okay, come on. If, if Taylor ever gets to it, this Taylor motherfucker is showing every round. Right. What kind of foreplay is this, Taylor? Hurry yeah. up. <laughs> Man, so bring Andrew in. And then you missed the part where he got knocked out. Yeah, where's <laughs> Angelo? <laughs> and now she didn't her. even show us shit. She said, we watched me. all that to see nothing. Uh, what happened? Anyway. It was I did it. I'm sorry. This is crazy. So anyway, he gets knocked out his socks. Like his feet come yeah. to the side. You know that you know the knocked out stands, like where you go like yeah, this. Tommy this. Hearns and Martin Lawrence. Exactly. So he got straight knocked out, yeah. and um, his He's girlfriend warrior, though, was man. there. You, you got to give it to him. I mean, I hate that this is the third fight that he had to lose in front of his wife. That's really hard for him. Oh, this is his to... wife. Sorry, I was gonna say girlfriend. That's perfect. So this is what I was gonna say. Talk to me. Is uh, can you respect your partner if they get beat up in front of you? Um, a girl. You're not expecting your girl to uh, the 
the fight you want to be the nurturer for your kids. If she's getting her ass kids. whooped, you're not no. gonna help. No, 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 I'm gonna help out. That's what I'm saying. This is a mother of my kids. Like, this is my kids' mom. Y'all gotta slow down. Like, I can't let y'all do this shit. The fuck is wrong with y'all? But if a guy gets what if she started it girl, though and was dead wrong? <laughs> and she gets smacked the fuck out of you still. <laughs> Like saying some shit where she was disrespecting you in the street and a girl walked past and was like, you shouldn't talk to him like that. Doesn't matter. She's like, bitch, shut the fuck up. I'll talk to you like that. And smack, the girl smack, smack. Beats, her, and beats her up and lays her out. Nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do. We just got to keep the scene real quick. Cause I'm gonna get this. Put, put like this. If my girl see me getting rocked by a dude, Girl, you'll sit your dumb ass down. <laughs> nigga just showed you. If he rocked me, <laughs> get your ass out the way. He will put you to sleep. Now our kids got both. We both helping each other. Wolves. Who gonna take you to kids? <laughs> now we both going. You know? <laughs> both put the sleep. How you know, about you, Issa Trey? Tried to defend me on some shit one time when we were we were out to dinner somewhere, and this girl was just being a bitch to me. Like I stepped on her shoe by accident. It was one of those dumb. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> My girl tried to boss up and like my ex, I mean, my ex on so my girl. Uh, 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 she's like, uh, uh, I never did that. Uh, my ex, uh, not y'all being like, <laughs> your girlfriend's right there. Like, no, bitch. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, she tried to like, da, 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 and get spicy with the girl. But like, I'm really quick witted. Like, I can handle my own. Like, don't geez, don't worry about geez. me when I'm going okay, back and forth. With okay. She tried to do one of those. I got it, babe. And then was like stumbling and stuttering. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> we're losing, bitch. We're losing. We're losing. <laughs> And then at this point, I'm mad at her, so I couldn't think of shit. I'm like, bitch, let's go. And we like, <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Like, oh, no, nah, babe, I got this, da-da-da-da. And I'm like, Hilarious. you were not saying anything. She like, yeah, like, that's why your, 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 your shoes is scuffed. She I like, your, your girlfriend's shoes. stuck on my shirt. shit. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at her like, bitch, you cut me off to say that? To say <laughs> your man was looking at me tonight. <laughs> yeah. Right, what? like, I get Feel brutal with words. Like I wasn't gonna fight. I knew it wasn't a fighting situation, but she was like, "Oh, fuck you and your ugly shoes," and I was ready to go in. And my girl, hilarious. Like, Girls hate that ugly shoe shit. L'Oreal still mad because my boy says she had ugly shoes at the prom. I never had a pair of ugly shoes in my life. I always look like. <laughs> anyway, Mister, wear the same fucking pair of Tims all year. <laughs> How dare you? That's me. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare. The same ones. Fuck. Only wear, don't even have two pairs. Niggas, all year. nah, I'm the foot god. Like, I don't play no hey. games when it comes to hey. my kick. I like, Moses, see. you ever got beat up in front of your girl or a boyfriend or whatever you got going on? I don't judge. Look, inclusivity. I love it. We got our pronouns. Nah, I haven't. <laughs> no. You did? No, what about? Not yet. Not yet? The fuck? My what kind of beat intro me, is that? My mama beat me in front of all my girls, though. Aggressive, you know? Luckily, oh, I, don't, I haven't had it. Don't... What was that? You said you're not aggressive, so it hasn't happened yet? No, I said my girl can be aggressive, so it hasn't happened yet, but... So she's never gotten in a fight in front of you? No, she hasn't. But what if she did and she was getting beat up? And then you heard somebody she say, world star... <laughs> oh no and no. you're in the background of the video do you help like what do you do what did you do bro I, I gotta help her but i'm i'm gonna be trying to kick him off and try to grab damn grab him. No, you can't do that no violence and you really can't do it like it's hard for one person to try to break up a fight because it's gonna look like you're either jumping her <laughs> No, you can't do it. So you well, we gonna really get to jumping somebody. cause nigga, you're not about to let me get beat up. What the no, fuck? no, I'm gonna try to like, you know, find a way to get in there. Just I take the blows before you get the blows. He said, like, find a way to get in here. Right. Why are your arms up like this? Nah, cause you. Nah, cause you I don't know. You got. I don't know. You don't want to find a way like to get in, in there. Uh, Loria, would. You you have a guy if he got beat up in front of you? I feel like the answer is no. <laughs> I couldn't. Like, and I'm a, and I'm telling you, I'm not jumping in no fight. Like, and I know no. that might sound fucked up. Especially if he got but like, beat up. I feel like how wax feel. I'm like, I'm not about to fight no grown ass man. And if I do, it was by mistake. It's not planned. <laughs> like, <laughs> and they gonna be like, I'm about to jump into this. Hey, no, no. He whooping my ass. Girl, get the fuck, fuck out, out of here. Niggas <laughs> laying out Deontay Wilder. I'm not fucking with that big ass uh, nigga. Like, no, but I did. I told, didn't I tell y'all before that this happened with my ex? They got into a big fight. It was like the whole damn 
it was a section against a section in the club. You get what I'm saying? No. And I knew, yeah, I knew oh, the nah. niggas they was fighting. Like I, I grew up with one of the niggas or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, his boy kept coming over. So my homeboy from high school friend kept coming over to our section for some reason. He was drunk, but he was spilling shit everywhere. Yeah. So he kept spilling a drink, like some of his drink on um, my boyfriend at the time, his cousin's girlfriend or whatever the yes. case. So anyway, he keeps spilling shit, keeps spilling shit. So nigga says something. Now, the girl was dramatic. I'm not going to lie. She was the reason why the fight really went there. Because she was like, oh, my God. It's like, <laughs> bitch, just move. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Like, he violating. But you could tell he's drunk. It's New yeah. Year's yeah. Eve. Like, it's New Year's fucking Eve. All I know is they like, what happened? She's like, this guy, da 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 My boyfriend at the time turns around. The nigga standing on the top of the couch, he just go, boop, punch the nigga right in the face. The nigga falls backwards like this off the couch. Damn. Next thing you know, the shit was mayhem. I'm talking about these niggas jumped over the side, bottles is throwing and fists is throwing. And it's all niggas, me, her, maybe like three other bitches, but it's mostly uh. niggas, right? And I'm over here with it. Like, I'm not about to... You got one of the bitches is throwing shit. I'm like, bitch, you about to get knocked the fuck out. Like, I'm yeah, you gotta be careful. No, I'm when grown men is fighting and you a woman, you get the fuck out the way. I don't I'm care how gangster you think you are. Gangster. Yeah. Yeah. Because you get laid out, out, then what? You might die, bitch. Like, yeah. go home. They start Try seeing and just start hitting anybody in their way. Nah, I got to go. But now, if my nigga would have got knocked out in the middle of that scuffle, Come on, um, man. <laughs> I don't think he could have been my nigga no more. No cap. Because like, yeah. he started it, too. Like, you can't start it and uh, not get yeah. out. Ouch. You know what I'm saying? If somebody I, started with him, maybe I felt That, that ride home going to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, but he was mad at me. Like, he thought you I should have did something. And I'm like, nigga, no. The no, fuck? that ride home would have been private because L'Oreal was not going home with his ass. No, hold on. Now, say oh, he was mad at me. Try to holler at you, and the dude beat be him up. Do what? you still stay with your man? A what? Say it one more again. So you say if your man sitting there taking up for you, a dude try to holler at you like, "Yo, bro, this is my shorty," and the dude be disrespectful and still beat your dude up. I feel like let me defend myself unless you see it get out of out of hand. Nah, like, let me check it. That nigga you. might not know that that's my, my nigga. Come on. Nah, nah, nah. Because I'm not the type of person that be holding hands, this, is that, and the third. And I got mad homeboys that's either gay or on the spectrum of gay when or you whatever see, the you, case. If we not together. When you see a man there, but when you see a man there, it's all about respect. A man got to respect the man, period. I don't care. Wait, what? Like, what? Even- Saying, you're saying he like approached like, oh, I want to talk to you. Hey, what's up? My name is and didn't know the guy right next to her. Nah, but like, yo, my, you got fat ass. Yo, I'm trying to fuck. Oh, no, nah, that's like crazy. That. I right, that's what I'm saying, dude. Oh, I got to turn around. He got to be like, yo, bro, like, what's up? Like, you see me here anyway, so you got to respect. Well, that nigga period. was coming for a fight. So sometimes I look at people like that, like, leave them niggas alone. Because, like, you don't know what he's trying to do. That nigga might be trying to kill, shoot, rob. Niggas yeah. like that, you yeah. got to kind of, like, be smart <laughs> about that. Yeah. yeah. When of extra aggressive like that. It's like he's an what? ignorant nigga and he was already starting and looking yeah, for some you need to stuff. Have something yeah. Wrong with yeah, I would never I would not want my nigga to say two words. But, but to you that but nigga. you know how many times girls are like, yo, you see my nigga right here, what the fuck you do? I'll fuck you up, nigga. Da, 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 da. And then now they get that boyfriend beat up. Yeah, that's no. the problem. Nah, there's some girls like that, but that's because they want a nigga that's always fighting and stuff like that. Yeah, Bernard, that's not cool. Bernard, what's good? Take your shit off mute. Yeah. What's up, Bernard? None. What's up, Issa? You, you ever got beat up in front of your bitch? I have never gotten beat up in front of her. <laughs> I tried to break up a fight between her and some chick over some stupid stuff. Okay. What, what happened? happened? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. All right. All right. So uh, we were planning to go see a movie. You know, like when movies used to do like that early opening day. So like it would, they would show like that midnight before the actual release day. Yeah. So, yeah, we were going to go see a movie. Turns out we got the week wrong, so we went out for some drinks and everything, and I uh, I opened the tab, left my debit card at the bar, and um, we were probably, like, four drinks in already. Mm-hmm. And some chick was trying to tell her that, you know, she left my card up there, and she didn't hear her. I mean, we're, we're, we're at a lounge, so music is loud. really can't hear nothing. So she throws the card at her, and <laughs> next thing I know, one thing led to another. My girl was just all up in her face. I tried to break up a fight. 
No one ever told me in my life. Don't try to break up a fight between two between two I females, especially if your bitch is winning. Wax yes. just. He was no, like, Shakisha, no! Regardless or not, <laughs> regardless or not, you don't never want somebody to say that they jump me, the man, and that's dangerous for you. They are brothers. He said cousins. breaking up. He ain't said he yeah, was Yeah, I swinging. tried to break up the fight, yeah, I, and I my shirt got ripped to shit. I only wore the shirt, like, once. Damn. Bernard, throw the Who card won? down at the table, the area, or she threw no, it No, she her threw girl. it at her. Ooh. Nah, she deserved yeah, the ass whooping. Yeah, I would have lost wild. it. But, but she won, though, right? Yeah, she won. Oh, I'm thank God. The whole time. Mm, I, got in, I don't know I got that didn't in sound the face. You got kicked I in got, the I got uh-huh. scratched. Like well, you lost. Got ripped. It's okay I, to yeah, lose. I lost. <laughs> it's okay to lose. When you, in that situation right there for us to lose, <laughs> in that situation, bro, you did a great job by losing. And y'all still together? Yeah. Um, No. <laughs> well, she probably yeah. wanted to beat you up. Well, no, y'all know. I already told y'all she passed away last year. Oh. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. Well, that just. With totally different from what oh, the fuck. Man. Sorry. Come on, man. I don't sorry. get on here like four times. I don't remember you saying yeah. that. Yeah. Remember, I, t- I got ghosted last year. I, I told y'all about that. You never you told that she passed away. I did. I said she passed away from COVID. No, you did not. Even Taylor yes. was sitting here like you didn't tell us that. Do I don't know? remember what episode it was, but it was earlier okay, this man. year. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, he from COVID? Here. Yeah. Lord, oh, I'm so ah. sorry. I thought you said oh, during. Yeah. I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry. Condolences. Yeah, it, so. yeah, well, it, um, yeah. I mean, there's not really much I can do now. I just, you know, try to look out for her family when I can and everything. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Um. I did yeah, not mean I'm to so... bring down the room again. No, <laughs> I mean, I, I just don't remember you telling us this because then we definitely wouldn't have been making a joke. Yeah. Yeah, but but no, no, she 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 would have laughed. She she was very feisty like that. She was Trini and Irish. So oh, that's, wow. That's, yeah, that's, that's yeah. What a mixture. How the <laughs> hell like, did that happen? How did they yeah. Harry, how did that me? We're those areas close to each other. <laughs> Florida. Of course. Oh, you're right. That's, Did you know the nigga that was fucking all the dogs? What? <laughs> yeah, this guy was wild, bro. He's a Florida man. No. Look, everybody ain't Florida man, okay? <laughs> no, he is. is. I'm from West Palm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm, that's where he's from, too. I'm Y'all the same West complexion. Yeah. Go like this? Oh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> it wasn't me, like Shaggy said. It wasn't me. <laughs> Nah, but that's crazy. Okay, so um, what do you? Oh, I'm like, I thought this was your porn. This is him. Do you <laughs> know this guy? guy? Let me see Bernard again. Okay, Bernard, do you know no, this guy? Um, what's his name? Oh, uh, he's a veterinarian. I forgot uh, his name, but it's like some rapist. He was out here wild. No, he looks like what's it, Contessa's husband on um, Married to Medicine. That's who he looked like. <laughs> <laughs> he he looked like. Dollar store version of Montel Williams. That's what he looks like. <laughs> Damn, y'all niggas is roasted. Damn. His name is Damn. Princess Madden. That's him. Don't that's, know him. Him. that's him in uh, handcuffs down there. Yeah. I don't know nobody named Princess. Nah, he's probably from Gainesville or something. We don't know him, Bernard. It's cool. Well, he's fucking dogs, so don't tuck your dog he there is if you have one. Y'all be mad as hell. Blessings get smashed or Luna get smashed, bro. Right. Man, bro. I don't know. Um, you got any advice you need, Bernard? Yeah. Um, how can I skyrocket my podcast and get some more listeners? How long you been doing it? A year. What's oh. the name? It's the look, Angry Blurs Podcast. Te- Wax actually looked at my story. I do remember. I had like a weird dream yesterday morning mm-hmm. where like I was in New York auditioning for a board operator job at iHeart. Okay. And I ended up talking to Taylor and Wax um, in the lobby. And I guess Charlotte heard about my podcast and I ain't had no signal. And he was just like, yo, we're not going to put this on the black effect because you can't answer your phone. I'm like, Damn. <laughs> That's a really Wax specific- phone is off too. <laughs> yeah, my phone literally fucked up for real. I ain't going to lie to you. Right, T-Diddy? Like, we, I don't know what the fuck is going on with my phone. I told y'all. you, you don't want to sign Did the black effect. You ain't going to have no phone. <laughs> no, I, I, I tried everything. I see Diddy. We was trying to Did figure out what the... Take the SIM card. We did everything. It's something is wrong with my phone. It's just fucking. It's not up. even Valentine's Day. I just got a new phone the other day. <laughs> but you got an Android? Mm-mm. Got an yes. iPhone. Lord, yeah. I, I, got a, I got a 12. 
That's too oh, late. It's a new one. Nah, you got to get the 13 Pro Max. Yo, you got money. Okay. Yeah, I got it the day it dropped. I was on my way to South Carolina. I was like, I got to get my phone. And I got up like 8 o'clock in the morning because the mall ain't open till 9. And you just got right how, on the How much would something like that cost me? 13. <laughs> Bernard, let me ask you a question. Shoot. Since you got money to spend on the 13 uh, iPhone and shit. Right. So we had an email. Oh, I'm making payment plans. I ain't. How you do He's that? like, hold on now. But I got it. <laughs> we got an email earlier. And it was a girl. She was saying that the, the nigga was well off. Got a couple dollars. He's always working. He be uh, buying himself diamond. I mean, uh, Cuban links. $7,000 chains. He be having the Louis Vuitton, the Dior, all that fly shit. And when it come to her. You know, he just want to go to bars and shit and do like bare minimum. And he like never bought her shit or did anything for her. Do you, How do you think she should approach that? Do you think she should walk away? Do you think she should ask him? How Like, how would she get something out of this man? If, okay. It's not just about getting something for her, but she yeah. feels like it's uneven as far as yeah. like she puts effort in and he doesn't. That's a so fun billion dollar question. Did she email. say how long they were together? T-Daddy? I think they said only for like three months. Man, she may, I ain't even know that. Three months, that's really nothing. You're still that's getting to know each time. other. But he shouldn't be flossing in front of her like that because if you do that, then you're going to get these questions like, yo, what am I going to get some nice yeah, stuff? Upgrading yeah, yeah, that's true. What I mean, like, if, if, if it gets like six months in, then you got to start treating her like, you know, like you see potential in this person. Do you think she should start gifting him with stuff to show that that's her type of love language? No, that should have been he's a no, oh, from Jump Street. She's known him for three years, though. Oh, see, now yeah. the plot oh, thickens. Okay. See, so yeah. yeah, yeah, the plot does thicken. So. He don't like her ass. He don't like her. That's, That's what I think, kind of. I yeah, feel like if I a mean, nigga don't do for her, he don't really like you. It's giving yeah, you I mean, proud, like, uh, fuck, so hi. I mean, you known him for three years, but y'all been dating for three months. That's it's kind of a little bit of a gray area, just because, you know, you're, you're taking your friendship and twitching it into something else. That's how it was with... um. When my, my ex may she rest in peace, like we started talking on MySpace as friends and we ended, eventually ended up dating and things didn't work out. We decided to yeah. still be friends, but she was a person that I always said that I will always be there for no matter what, mm. even if it was mm. just like, like I let her put lights in my name. Mm. Wow. Right. I don't let anybody use my name for any fucking thing. Wow. Like everybody could kiss my ass. When I somebody, did that one time and like it was a bad friend. idea. Yeah. Um, I ended up having to pay the shit off. And another time <laughs> I did it for a, like a girl that was like my quote unquote sister and she got an eviction underneath my name. So like, I'm oh, just now, nope, I just I got that shit. That. Yeah, yeah, like in the past like, couple of yeah. years. Something off small of like credit. lights. I'm I'm cool with, but I ain't co-signing no car. I ain't co-signing no. no you know, everybody high, has bro. a sob story Light, and somebody you feel bad for. And I was young anyway, so um, but yeah, so, well, yeah. one of the reasons why money even became a topic of issue was because she had earrings on and he broke one playing around with her. And oh no, he needed to replace those. He agreed oh, to replace wild. them and he never did. That's wild. See now, now, now she got to cut you. Yikes. That's what I think too. It's like now if, he's not if, even if doing those what he said. You know, very expensive earrings. They only five hundred. Replace more. You need. Uh, if they only five hundred, then replace them. You fucking weirdo. Yeah. Right. Only. L'Oreal, do you talk to your man like this? You're not my man. I ain't saying Ooh. that. But Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my Two is, uh, snaps and I'll shut the fuck up. Doing uh, a podcast. I'll call you back. But now, right, promote your podcast real quick so people can check yes. you out. Yeah, so we are the angry blurs. We're kind of like the trap, but we go into a little bit more details on things. Like we spent like a half hour shitting on the new Venom movie. That piece of shit was just straight up horse shit. Okay, as best <laughs> as I can describe it. You said um, a lot of shit and wax like that. So yeah, who knows? It's right up wax alley. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but as um, nerd? so yeah, it's me and my friend. What is it? I've known Wait, blurred as a black nerd? Yeah. B -E oh, I can hear it blur like blurry. Oh, that's dope. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, How did you figure that out? Because I'm still sitting here trying to spell it. What you saying? Blurred B L. I know, I know, I know. I got it. Oh, okay. I got it. I was joking. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, I was yeah me and my friend Samira, we've uh, known each other since we were like 15. Okay. And we just decided like one day 
let's just start a podcast. And we literally been doing this shit through Zoom since the pandemic happened. He lives down in Lauderdale. I go down there every now and then. We do it I live. I thought you like, was talking about a whole girl. Lauderdale. <laughs> what was the name oh. you said? Angry Blurds. No, the person that you do it with. Oh, my friend Samir. Samira. Oh, so well, I don't know why I heard Samira. And then yeah, you was like, Samira. he, and I was like. <laughs> Samira. <laughs> she and no. them. That's uh, my so <laughs> that's my best friend. Yo, Lauria. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so uh, did you tell us? Yeah, you tell us where to check it out at, right? Yeah, we're on SoundCloud, uh, Google Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio app, Amazon. Okay. T. Uh, Diddy got to listen Apple. to your podcast. Bernard, do you explain like the different mini series, like Loki and fucking yes. Wanda? That shit. Okay, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm a we listen. did all that shit on a weekly basis. We did that. We did it like every weekend episode would drop. We would go in the reviews and like high detail about that shit. And then, like yeah, every yeah. now and then, I'll do a giveaway. Like I just did a giveaway for a twenty five dollar Amazon gift card. Okay. Nobody claimed it, so I ain't never spending it, it on myself. Nobody claimed it. I will take it. Yeah. Um, I right, but listen, Bernard, real fast. Yo, yeah. How how many um how many planets is it out there in the solar system? Nine. Yeah. Yes. Don't so, smoke. So it's Venus. How many women to oh, Hold on. He didn't say solar system the last time. So no, what, what, what was it before? Right. It's more planets, planets, right? Is more planets somewhere else? Yes, because there yes, are different what? solar systems in the universe. All right, so how, who got the most planets? Like, where are you at? Nigga, I don't know. I'm not an astrophysicist. <laughs> Bro, I thought oh, you were a bug man. But you a nerd. You are supposed to know That's stuff like that. That's what I'm like saying. That. You sound mad. I'm, 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 I'm the comic nerd. I'm not the science nerd. That's Moses. That's the science nerd. Moses. <laughs> what's what's going on in this hemisphere? No, y'all tell me what y'all think. How many <laughs> men to women are on Earth? Because or in the real, United real States? Real fast, Bernard. Be yeah, because it. we, because Wax just embarrassed yeah. himself, nope. and I want to see right. how let's, far let, y'all could get. Let, let's see his numbers. Probably how, how, right where mine is. Go ahead, Bernard. How many um, men to women? I would say, as far as ratio, for yeah, men ratio. to women, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really don't know. Like four, four to two. What? Come Wait, on, Moses. What you got, Moses? I can't right, I'm a, I said that. Is, uh, hey, don't use Google. Like, I'm gonna say was like fifty two percent men, forty eight percent women. Did you just Google that? No, I didn't. I swear I didn't. How you that smart? Because he's, he's a fucking biologist. He's a biologist. Anyone can it's not. What you think, he Issa Jay? He don't know how he don't know how many motherfucking Earths it is. Yeah, aren't we like two to one though? I feel like Moses is right though. We're not that far behind the population of men worldwide. It's, it's, it's ninety-seven. Uh, that's not. It, it's closer to what they said though, Taylor. She's she's texting me, so I'm reading it. Um, <laughs> it's ninety-seven men. I mean, ninety-seven women to every hundred men. Right? Oh, okay. Did I say that right? No. I mean, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, ninety-seven men to every hundred women. So it's oh, mad it's women more out women. Oh. Also, it's more. Yeah, it's, it's more, more, more women. What Wax used to say, where you know, Wax said one and thirty-seven. <laughs> one to thirty-seven. Okay, that, that's a bit of a reach. <laughs> no, he said not. there's thirty-seven <laughs> women to one man. Is what he said. It's like that, though. Is it's it? Because like I've been single for like I don't know how long. You, you should have 37 bitches. I right, listen if you go to church, right? According to what more women than men. If you go to that's a holy land, y'all niggas. If you, go, if you go to the grocery store, more women than men. If you go to the club, more we're the only ones that men. cook. We're the only people that get a cook. <laughs> that's what see how they see how, see how sexy they, they are. Food, Asian food, what you want? You this probably don't cook that good. Niggas swear they could cook and they don't it'd be no, dry. I, really can't cook. I actually was going to why you so sexist, yo. Y'all be putting it in the air fryer talking about you could cook. No, I, I use that for myself. <laughs> no, I can't cook. But I can that. actually saute stuff on a walk and all that shit. Ooh, okay, I so real quick, what do y'all... Oh, go uh, ahead, Issa Trey, sorry. No, that's all I was saying is like Wax is basing real life statistics off of where he visits. Oh, my church <laughs> is a lot of women, bitch. 
Well, I'm just saying it's mostly women in every every area. When I go to Publix, it's all women in there. No, you're only looking at the women in there. No, like, exactly, because there's bad niggas in Publix. I'm a fiance. Yeah, I used to work at Publix, so <laughs> and it's more women than men, right? <laughs> Depends on what department you go to. Yeah, the meat department's mad niggas. Bakery, mad women. Sexism. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> it's true though. Like you're this. absolutely I, right. I don't like all the sexist talk to this episode. Okay, I last thing. Coincidentally, though, my uh, my um, my deli department had more women than men. Cause they like, like me. It was like me so, and like okay, four let, other dudes. Let's get into this real quick before I let y'all go. Did y'all see Dave Chappelle's special, The Closer? Amazing. I haven't watched it yet. I, what? I'm meaning to. I've been busy. Like I'm editing wedding photos this. from like two weeks ago. I've been working like nonstop and doing the podcast. And you got a lot I'm, of jobs, I'm, Bernard. You're Jamaican. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um okay so they were talking about canceling it uh you know they no. said he said a lot of homophobic things he backed up he the did? baby all kind of stuff but he also had a message in it when he brought it back around did anybody find it offensive moses did you mm. watch it as well because you don't I, I i didn't watch it but i heard um people were upset like i think was it the transgender community try to Cancel yeah. I don't yeah, know. the LGBTQ community. What did you think, Issa Dre? Um, I just think that like straight people be talking too much about the LGBTQ community. <laughs> that I like, really I heard that, the clip. Like the base, I'm not even gonna go in on like literally what Dave Chappelle actually said, but I think there's just like way too much of like, <laughs> why are you even making this part of your comedy special? comedy special to bring up J.K. Rowling and all these. I mean, he did bring up like things about Jewish people. He brought up something about Me Too movement. I think he did that in another stand up. But I'm yeah. just saying like some of it just be like, why are you even talking about this? But does he make a point when he talks about. So I, yeah, like, I'm going to be careful even when I'm saying it. So do you feel like he makes a point when he brings up what J.K. Rowling was talking about? Because J.K. Rowling was basically saying that gender yeah. is a fact, right? I believe that's what yeah, J.K. Rowling what said. Oh, right. And and where that comes from is her saying that um, she believes it's um, uh, a mockery when men dress up as women. And it's kind of like blackface would be for Black people. That's how women should feel about men that dress as women. I think Rowling. that is a bit he of a He quoted reach. like the most, like the least controversial part of what J.K. Rowling said, the thing about gender being a fact. Right. And well, because you know, so, I don't know the background of that. I'm not yeah, going to no, act like I do. But like, oh, why are you even, or why are you like, um, uh, what was the word? Like, she said that she was like, she feels like sometimes the transgender community, they're like, um, they're impersonators, right? So basically what you were just saying, like the blackface. Yeah. And before something about like, um, why can't I be proud of my, my like authentic, natural womanhood, stuff like that. So she has said things that's like deeper than just like gender is a fact. Like that's right. what kind of went off of it and makes it sound like oh if that's what jk said then why why are people so mad right and that was all i do to feel like sometimes people do do it to mock women and, and then i do feel like there are people that genuinely feel like they're trapped in a body that's not the there yeah. and they're yeah. expressing themselves but yeah. that's not to it's just like um some people do things for art and some people are doing things to be ignorant, right? Yeah, like so I amazing. feel like it's, I can understand what she was saying, but I don't believe that that's how everyone feels that right, uh, right. Like, dresses. You identify as transgender. Yeah. If you're saying things like that, you are being, you're being a little ignorant to what a transgender experience is. Right. Now what Bell was trying to go off of and trying to do all that, I really, like I said, I don't really even care to like analyze specifically what he was saying. Right, but I right. do, there was a lot of like, I just want to show y'all how quick people are to cancel and look at my little my little like test and it worked like look y'all trying to cancel me and that's just kind of weird it's like is this a comedy special or not or is this a science fair like I'm yeah. what are you doing so I you know that's just on it yeah I don't know I'm I like yeah. I I get it but I was I have to agree with you a little bit where at one point while I was watching and I'm like how come every joke is a gay joke like I love Dave Chappelle yeah but, you got and, a point, right you're like. <laughs> But I see how he wrapped it up at the end. Like, all I'm trying to say is, like, we, like, I'm jealous of the movement because of how y'all are able to stick together and people are so outraged. But if somebody says nigga, it just yeah. gets swept under the rug and you yeah. still fuck with them. Like, I understand the comparison. I don't think he had to go so hard in the LGBTQ yeah. I think community. Could've, like, uh, he could have did that in tweets. I don't know yeah, why he you turned the volume up on everything that he did. Did Chappelle even tweet anymore? No, I don't, I don't think so. 
But I do feel like it puts us against each other instead of it being like, how about we form together because we all have one common enemy. Yeah. Right. Like kind of like I can get on here and y'all can ask me. Like aliens. I, 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 Did this nigga just say aliens? Yeah. This nigga coming. Aliens. Oh my Go god. Ahead. I'm sorry. He said but no, no, no. But like how we get on here and like, y'all have asked me mad shit before. Like, how do you feel about this? Or is that offensive to yes. say? Those are more productive conversations, in my opinion. I don't know. You why help me out a lot. I think so too. Why you said shit and you be like, oh, I didn't know I can't say that. Like, you gotta let me know. Thank you. Yeah, you, you gotta out. learn and grow. <laughs> but some people <laughs> don't like questions, and when you ask questions, they try to like some people they'll try yeah, to some, come at you for I, questioning. Yeah, and it's like, I, I don't think that's right time. either. Because a yeah, lot of a lot of things that are going on that we're seeing is new. Like I didn't know about this. I'm sorry, maybe this has been a thing before, but I didn't know about the pronoun thing and all that, like the they, them. I never knew about they, yeah. them. And I still yeah. kind of don't get it. Like when Demi Lovato is like, no, don't refer to me as she, they, mm -hmm. them. And you want to be respectful, what? but if you're, and I'm not saying like, I can't change my vocabulary, but in your mind, it if takes you're time to get used to. Yes. And yeah, people will really talking, get a, 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 upset with you. And you're like, the fuck, I don't somebody know. Somebody help me out right now, please. Cause I'm, I'm no. like, yeah, go ahead. What you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, with the the her, the them, them, she. Okay, so some oh. people just don't want to be labeled as you know a man or a woman. They 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 want to be non-binary. So that's where the them and they come in. Okay. Keep in mind, their sex is still whatever their sex is. They just <laughs> don't want to be assigned a specific gender. Sex and gender are two different things. So perfect example: your sex is male. If you want, you could be. No, he's a bitch. I already told her. Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> like I had I had to explain this to my 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 aunt and my former neighbor. They're both like in their 70s. It got to the point where it's like I don't know how to explain this to y'all anymore. It's like I I went yeah. over <laughs> I went over the whole alphabet. Uh -huh. I don't try to explain what? shit to nobody. Right. I mean, listen, I, I exist on that same Bernard. I didn't try to explain to my grandma. She was like, well, I thought that if you dress like a boy and but exactly. you're a girl, I, the, the same why thing. can't I, like, I call can I, you a I'm going to go get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> the grandma said that to you? So she was yeah, asking, some people don't know that dyke is a bad word. Dyke was a slur. Yeah. She yeah, was like, oh, I, I thought it was slur. too. I remember back, slur. wait, one time you said that, and I was like, that's actually a slur, and I should say that. You haven't said it again while I've been on here. Yeah, but no, I, he doesn't I try, say I try it. I'm to say none of that type of stuff no more. Like, wait, the midget, all that stuff. Take that, take that. that. Is Butch, uh, so why, why can't I say dyke, basically? No, I don't <laughs> think Butch is a, a, yeah, butch is butch is a slur. Say Butch. Yeah, okay. that's not a slur. I can say Dyke butch. sounds like a slur. Yeah. I called you a Butch. A dyke. No, I called me Butch before, remember? Oh. Uh, what, what about choker? What about choker? No. Huh? But that's also uh, stereo. Is it stereotypical that yes. I'm saying, like, to even be like, well, you're the dyke. Oh, sorry, you're the butch. You're the wow, L'Oreal. Really? I'm just playing. <laughs> I would not. I'm, I'm saying wow. that's like, you're that's crazy. even, sorry. I didn't mean right. to say that. Right after this, cancel L'Oreal. No, because that's, <laughs> tell it, take that out. But, <laughs> but no, isn't that it's even stupid. like, that's, that's um, <laughs> offensive is the word I was looking for. To even be like, you're Butch or you're the girl in the situation. It's like, what the fuck does that even mean? We're in a I relationship. I don't think it's what you say with, with that is how you say it. Because it's not a girl and, and a boy because you're both, both yeah. women. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a good point. I don't know that I've been asked that or said that offensively. Like, I haven't taken it offensively, but I get what you're saying. Like, it is... I guess that is offensive sometimes to some people to be like, we're both the girls. Shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, because it's like, who's the girl in the relationship? Yeah. And you're like, and you're we like, both have pussy, the... so you take a guess. I used to yeah, say, that's like if like, you go up to two gay guys and you'd be like, who's the catcher and who's the receiver? Like, <laughs> well, which one is it, Wax? I, I don't even know. <laughs> Wax don't know nothing like always. I don't, thank you. All right, all right, we gonna let y'all go. Moses, you yes. like the top or the bottom? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> you like the top or the bottom? Oh, that doesn't apply to me. <laughs> oh, you was paying attention. What's I the like closest? That. What's the closest Earth to us? You mean the closest planet? Yes. Please send him there. Yeah. Send Mars. 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 Listen, yeah. cause I, I, I want to be like, if I ever go, 
I want well, to I'm going to tell you how to remember the planets right now, okay? There. So so there's a saying that you can say to remember the planets. It's my Please very excuse educated my dear mother just have uh, um just served us nine pies. So that's Mars, Wait, what? Venus. Hold up. Yeah, Pluto's Pluto's not a planet Venus. anymore though. No, they no, they retcon that Pluto is a planet again. Okay. Wait, really? He's yeah, a biologist. I don't think you want to argue with him. The biology would be wrong, man. Bi biology is the human body. <laughs> yeah, it's know. still science. <laughs> Look how smart this guy is. It's still science. Who that, you didn't learn more, that at public. Nerds or biologists? <laughs> I don't know. I stopped watching porn in January, and my friend said I'm a psychopath because I was just like, I'm just stopping for no reason. They're like, you're not doing it for New Year's? I'm like, no, just woke up one day and said, I'm done. New Year's. Well, God bless you. Yo, man. there's there's a whole community called like No Fat, and they don't they don't jerk it at all. That's a real thing. My my old roommate used to do that. God bless them. Taylor, like, hold on a second. All, all right, right, I'm gonna let y'all go on that yeah, note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get up out of here, man. <laughs> Bully and the Beast podcast. Thank y'all yes. for joining us. Appreciate Make sure you yes. go check out his podcast, Bernard's uh -huh. podcast. Yes, do that. Angry and Blurds, where the nerds are black and the nerds are angry. That's right. You could go get some legal advice from Issa Trey and Moses, and but you got to pay them because they're not cheap. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And and talk to them nice. And that's how we're going to leave it at that. We'll see y'all next week. All right. Peace. Bye, y'all. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Issa Trey is so crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm glad Issa Trey came on today. Choker, what up? Okay, we're going to hit the Black Excellence really quick, and now we're going to oh. get into Wax's ABCs. Yeah. Okay, Black Excellence. Excellente. Well, we got, we don't well, we have got. any today. No? Oh, no. Nipsey Hyso, his daughter, is very talented. Okay. Um, they got a video of her singing. Seems like she's taking some kind of vocal lessons and she's singing Whitney Houston. Like the hit? Here it go. Hey, girl. I'm taking you to the world. Yes, you can. You got it. So good. Oh, bye. Yes, baby. We both know I'm not with you. Wow. You and me. She you can tell she's shy. She's cute. Wait, isn't it I now wish you? Joy. You got the yeah. Okay. Okay, so what do you want to say? I'll do this one. You'll do and you'll do that. <laughs> She's cute. So big shout out to her. I yes. can't wait to see uh, as she grows up what, what she's going to be getting into. Probably singing, but I uh, yes. can't wait to see how that really goes. really great to see young ones get, get into something that they actually like to do. You, when you got kids, you're like, what do you want to do? What, what do I try to push you to do that you actually want to do? You know what I'm saying? So she's finding that right there. Uh -huh. Following in our father's footsteps and doing yeah. music. So uh -huh. that's dope. Also, Bobby Schmurda, he donated 6K backpacks, 6,000 backpacks filled with supplies in six different New York City schools. That's so great, big shout bro. out to him. You, bro. This is all according to Hip Hop DX. Now, um, the students ranged from elementary to high school. They got bags filled with various supplies, including pencils, pens, pencil cases, notebooks, boulders, highlighters, and more. So big shout out to him for doing that. And also the Weekend Goodwill Ambassador, the United Nations Food Program, formerly named The Weekend, the latest Goodwill Ambassador. Wait, what the fuck is going on here? I'm lost. Yeah. Oh, The Weekend. You just put it as one long sentence. Okay, so big shout out to The Weekend. Make sure you clean that up, please. Uh, big shout out to The Weekend, who is now a Goodwill Ambassador. So earlier this week, the United Nations Food Program, formerly named The Weekend, the latest Goodwill ambassador, and he will use his platform to advocate for the end 
to World Hunger. Now, every year, the program offers assistance to over 100 million people in more than 80 countries around the world. So big shout out to The Weeknd and also Tim's and WizKid receive their plaque for Essence and they're making history with that record. Now, let's get into our favorite part of the yeah, show. We and got just it. real quick, if you want to add some Black excellence, all you got to do is head on over to Patreon mm -hmm. and submit some stuff over there and we make sure we shot that out now let's uh -huh. get into it waxes we abc okay. so you know how it goes we're gonna spell the word for well, you I'm you're cool. gonna use it in a sentence you're gonna define it you're gonna tell what us it? what the word is like the hit a s p h y x i a t i o n this is i mean uh, I like getting stuff like this because it looks like there's no way I get it, but this is the one I would actually get. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Is, um, as expectation. As fi expectation. As fi extinction is as phoenix. Uh, Akia, uh -huh. ton, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. Uh -huh. Um, so it can't be Akia. K I A is Kia, right? So, um, Akia ton. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So I'm not using a sentence because as for X ton. Um X X tentation. Yes. So, so Come on, as, nigga. I don't have all day. Figure it out. As Phoenix. When I went to Phoenix, I had uh I asked the 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 guy from Phoenix where I get a rental car, he said a Kia over a ton. Ah. All right. Are you done? That's all I got. That's the sentence or the definition. I'm like lost. I just had a definition. I went to, I just went to Phoenix. Okay. And they gave me a Kia. And I said it's over a ton. Like over there. Over a ton. So that's the sentence? So what's the definition? Yeah. The definition is um asking for directions in Phoenix about Ikea. Anyway, T. Diddy, please put this dog out of his misery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take that, take that. It's asphyxiation wax. I said that. It's nice. exactly what that guy was doing when the girl's earring broke. Well, Do you know what that is? Choking. It means a state or a process of being deprived of oxygen, which can result mm. in unconsciousness or death. I so, kind of said that a little bit. Okay. You did not say that. At all. I was because you you get really frustrated when you don't know directions to get the, the rental cars. <laughs> all right, we are gonna get out of here. Bully yes. and the Beast podcast. He's here. giving me the worst headache that I've ever had in my <laughs> life. So I'm gonna have to get the fuck up out of here. Make sure y'all go check out all the past interviews. Yes. Subscribe to Patreon if you have not already. Please, Rate, please. review, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. That's right, and we'll see you next week. Early. Bye. Yeah. Peace.